Welcome everyone to live stream reviews. I'm Christian Karasevich, the content marketing manager at StreamYard, and we've got a great show for you. You know, if you're new here, this show is all about looking at your live stream. So looking at, you know, what you're doing, if you have questions on things like we can, op we can open up your streams and take a look at them. Um, we're also here to help answer questions and whatnot as well. So if you, you know, have a specific question on something, uh, that's what we're here for. And when I say we, it's myself and uh, my co-host, Charles uh, Matthews. Charles, how you doing? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, 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 what's going on? Make some noise. Uh, you guys waking up, waking up. There's everybody putting in. I seen everybody in the chat so early typing, saying hi to everybody. I guess it's not just me, eh? Like, I can't wait till our shows. I think everybody else is like, oh, it's a first. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm excited to be here. So, Charles, do me a favor. Um... Can you, uh, let's drop the link to join us backstage. So basically the way the show works is we bring you backstage and then, you know, we're going to drop a link. You join through the link, you come backstage with us and we bring you live so we can talk with you uh, during the live stream. So we're going to go for probably about an hour and a half to two hours. Um, I have a lot of stuff I want to cover by the way, as well. So Charles, let me kind of run through some of these things while you're doing that. Um, so the first thing I want to do is. I want to share my screen because I want to show you all some really cool features that we have just released at StreamYard. And the first feature, by the way, is uh, is background music. I don't know if you all have, have seen this yet, but basically background music will allow you to uh, be able to upload or to, sorry, be able to play background music during your live streams uh, directly from your StreamYard studio. And this is what it looks like. So here we go. This is a studio and this is going to be available across all plans, by the way. So, you know, if you're on uh, free basic or pro or business, um, you've obviously got these options. So the way this works is now when you go under brand over here on the right hand side, uh, you're going to be able to scroll down uh, under if you keep scrolling past video uh, backgrounds and whatnot, you will see background music right here. And you're going to be able to um, shoot. So basically, this is a, a volume slider. It does not fade at the moment. So, you know, if you want to go from like, you know, 10 all the way up to like 80 or something like that. I would recommend doing like smaller jumps to kind of like simulate that fade at the moment. Um, and then basically there's a loop option here. So when you click on, or you know what? Yeah, you guys, you all can see that. Yeah. So if you click on the loop option that's over here as well, that basically is going to loop whatever track you play. And there's uh, three, six, there's about eight tracks right here to play. So, and, uh, and yeah. I like it. I like it on 30. So far for me, I think yeah. 30 is a good volume base. So you can still hear your commentary you can still hear your guest and at the same time you can still hear the the little music in the background but the thing is you have to check your system out what levels are you at what levels is your mic at play around with it a couple of times first and yeah. then set it here's the key things to remember though the music plays right through right so if, you, if you're changing some of the scenes and stuff just be wary that the music you know you, you have to make sure you go in there and mute your song if you're changing over certain things because the music will go right through. And here, let me, let me go ahead and play like, let's just pick, uh, I guess we'll pick Feeding the Ducks. I'm going to put it on like, I don't know, like 10. Yeah. Let me know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? Barely. Okay. <laughs> so, you, so you can play with this, by the way, and this is background music. So right now you cannot upload your own tracks, but you can use the ones that we are providing. Yeah, that's correct. So, um, so that's how it works. You simply click play and then you click again to stop it. So that is feature number one for the week, background music. Um, Charles, and do me a favor. A you... lot of people a lot of people in the chat are saying they've used it. Um, you know, they can't wait for the library to grow. Yeah, and it, here's the thing too. These, these songs in the library right now are copyright free. This is why these songs are there, okay? So these are safe songs to use for what you got to do. You know, they've researched it and they found out what songs are okay. And this is the list for now. So I'm going to drop a link to a tutorial. Um, there's a video tutorial. Yep. And so I want you to, you know, I'd like it if, you know, if you have questions or things like that, um, do us a favor, by the way, if you have any questions uh, about the background music one, just go check out the video. We have a full video on that. Um, for those of you, by the way, who have questions and things like that you want us to talk about or answer, um, do me a favor. Let me, Charles, see if you have the banner for our questions. Uh, yeah, Let's see. I just got a message from uh, Leo. Leo's trying to get in, so he'll be in a cool. green room pretty soon. So we're Very just going to cool. wait a few minutes, see if he can get on. And then if not, we're going to go straight with the link to join us. Definitely. So, um, so by the way, if you have any questions, do us a favor, put a cue. Charles, please do me a favor. Let's start flagging some of those because I saw a bunch come in. 
Yeah. So that's feature number one, background music. Now, feature number two, I think a lot of you are going to be really excited about this one. Uh, this is available, by the way, on StreamYard Pro in business accounts. Uh, it's the ability to add an additional camera. And so what yeah. I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to share my screen. Let's go ahead and put this up. And I'm going to take this banner down so you can see this. And then I'm going to the camera. Um, so basically, uh, this is how it works. So now, if you are on the StreamYard Pro or business account, you click share. And you're going to see this extra camera option. And when you select that, it's going to pop up this box. I've got a webcam I set up. I, I didn't do a good job kind of getting it situated. Uh, but I have this webcam here. And I'm now able to bring it in. And I'm able to choose the resolution. The cool thing about this second camera when I hit share is that it does not have any audio. So it's a straight up second camera. And so, for example, I'm going to start this camera. So now you'll have something like this. I could have two cameras like this. So let's say this camera was positioned like right here. And I could be like, you know, hey, I could, I have different cameras that I can switch between. Now, the cool thing is I could be doing something like this. And by the way, this froze because I'm in the other studio with it. And then I'm like, hey, let me show you behind the scenes of things. And I'm like, I click that one, for example. So I have the ability now to make these adjustments in studio. So that is feature number two, adding a second camera. Pretty cool. What do you think about that one, Charles? That's that's just awesome. Because here, here's, what, here's what StreamYard is I'm going to, Tell them the ultimate of ultimate systems. They're helping you out to save money. So a lot of people were thinking, oh, do I need to go get a stream deck or or an A10 mini and switch it because I have, you know, I want to bring in other cameras. We're helping you out. StreamYard is helping you out. Now you can have the ability to just put the cameras right into the system. So you don't have to get any other stuff. You know what I mean? It's everything is right there. And that's the beauty about this system. Everything keeps upgrading more and more and more. So now there you go. You everybody wanted extra cameras. You didn't have the budget for it, but now you can just do it this way. This is yeah, this is phenomenal. Cool. I think I think this is the ultimate thing right now that StreamYard's added is second com camera options. Yeah. A lot of people are saving money right now, blowing their mind, thinking, "Oh my god, okay, there it is. I could just use two cameras now." Definitely. So let me see. I'm, I'm looking at some questions here. By the way, I'm just I'm put, I'm, I'm trying to flag them. So do me a favor, Charles. Let's let's have you flag them. Yep, and then I'm let me get into feature something. number three. Yeah, I'm flagging so, them too. But what, as we're doing that, let's bring my man in right here. Yes, Leo. <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> hey, how we doing? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully you can hear me. I've yeah, just had an internet outage, so that's why I'm late. And uh, this happens. This is why we always uh, have different people hosting and doing things. So uh, I'm there in the background for you guys, uh, helping anybody who's going to be coming on uh, in the green screen before you come live awesome. and talk to these two awesome guys. So do me a favor. Let's. Um, I was just talking about some of the new features. I got one more feature I want to talk about, but um, go ahead and drop the backstage link so you can start getting people in the green room. Yeah, I will do. Uh, and then um, the third feature I want to show people, by the way, is this new, um, it's ability to add more backgrounds. And so let me show you what this is look, what this also looks like. So here we are. I'm in the uh, main StreamYard studio over here. And now when you go to brand, you're going to have under, so, so it may not on the surface look like, oh, there's more backgrounds. So there's backgrounds that you can add yourself. But if you click add background, you get this nice little editor here. And what's cool about it then is you can add, you know, for example, there's some gradient colored ones. You know, if you want to add those, um, you can upload your own as well. And then I'll give you a little tip here, by the way. Some of you, if you're, I think it's on the pro, I think it might be basic, but pro, if you have an animated GIF, you can actually upload an animated GIF to this background as well. And it will actually make your background uh, somewhat animated. So pretty neat little feature. So that's feature number three, by the way. And then um, the fourth one, the fourth thing that I have for you, and I, I didn't plan to have all of these like, you know, really cool features to like share with you all yet. But um, the fourth one that we have, it's the month of February. And so we have new, sorry, we have new assets for you as well. And so uh, these are uh, the February assets. And I'll show you a couple of them. And I'd recommend bookmarking it or downloading it. Um, so basically, let me just play with some of these. So if I go under like brand, so I put a couple of these in here. So we put like, let's see. So there's a new countdown timer. We put like a three minute countdown timer in there. Somebody had asked us for one of those. So there's a three minute countdown timer. Um, we've also added some new overlays. You know, I think the Super Bowl is coming up. So obviously you can't use 
Super Bowl or NFL or things like that. NFL is very strict on that. So what we have are some generic Super uh, Super Bowl themed ones. Um, we also have Valentine's Day in the month of uh, February as well. So you got that one as well. Hit that one one more time, Christian, for me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> It's all about the love, people. <laughs> Getting shot with the love arrows. <laughs> and then let me see. I think. Oh, and I think. I think we got. I can't remember. I think Mardi Gras. Maybe. I think Mardi Gras. I think that's in. I, I'm not. I, I think so. But we've got that one as well. And then this was one of the new backgrounds, and this is a new background, and obviously the background music. Um, the other feature I also want to show you, by the way. Really, oh, you know, what? I realized you couldn't see this. So yeah, if you click background, you click add background. You're going to see this, and you're going to have the ability to select some different gradient backgrounds. Um, there's even, I think a stream yard one here. Let me see if we have it in here. Yeah. There's a really nice, like, I like this stream yard one. And then the other thing that's also here, by the way, is this is, it's a feature. It's a minor one. So let's say you're not going to, let's say, you know, you don't change the background much. Let's say you're going to use this. So now off to the right, you're going to see this little collapsible arrow. And if you click it, you can collapse some of the different sections that you don't use. For example, I don't ever change, you know, the background, the theme or the brand color once I set it. So, those are some new features that we've got for you. I like that last one as well, shrinking it. Cause you know, all these things are there. If you know you use steady files, then close it afterwards. It doesn't need to be open while you're trying to scroll up and down, you know, pick what you need, close it up. You're good to go. Exactly. So let's do this. Okay. So Leo, if you're good, hopefully, you know, let's, let's drop that link. And then let's see, let me, I'm looking for questions real quick. I've been adding questions in the back. So just so if you did, didn't know, okay, Christian and I have been working together. As Christian was talking, I'm going through the questions and actually starring them. That's another feature that was just out there lately. Yeah. I can star the questions and now he can go back into a section, click the start section and all the questions that you guys have been asking that I've been seeing, he can read them off right now. So that's another thing when you have a partner that you're working with. They can do one feature and then here we go. Definitely. By the way, so, so, yep, exactly. That, and either that's an old comment. So we'll, uh, we'll replace that one. Um, one question I just have real quick for everyone is, you know, while we wait for Leo to send some people over, how do you promote your live streams? And I say this because promoting your live streams is an important step. Like it's not just, oh, I got a guest booked. Getting a guest booked is like, if you think about the process, getting a guest booked and doing a live stream mm -hmm. is, you know, it's, it's more than 10%, but it's not like a hundred percent of the process. Right. So you want to make sure that you get a guest booked. And then the other key thing, and a lot of people, you know, they, they, a lot of people, everybody, always, I always need to work at this. It's promoting the live stream. So how do you promote your live stream? So for example, you know, it's one thing to put it up on a YouTube channel. How do you drive traffic to that? For example, I send out an email newsletter. So I have an email newsletter goes out like once a week and I send people to, the YouTube video. Charles, is there anything you, you, you do to promote your uh, live streams? So I have it set. Um, I use the stream deck. So okay. there's a couple of things. Before my show goes live the day before, I have it set to be sending out tweets nonstop. So, okay. hey, don't forget to catch the show tomorrow. Special guest show tomorrow. Don't forget at 11 o'clock, my show is coming on. So, because here's the thing. People get bombarded with so much social media. Yeah. So if you just send something out once... They'll be interested. Hey, yeah, okay, I'll watch it. But don't don't forget, after that, they got 50 more emails, videotapes, questions. So I'm not saying throw it in their face 24-7. That's overkill. But have a have a, a good schedule sending it to them, timing, date, when you see your fans are most likely to come up. Start scheduling it out so they can see it. Awesome. And I'm seeing some really good uh, comments here, by the way. Um so let's do this. While Leo is getting some guests in the background, I think I've starred like 13 of them already. Let's go back and see if we can answer some of these questions. Awesome. Yeah. And by the way, and, and I just want to cover some of the things people said they do to promote. So for example, Paul says, let me find it real quick. Paul says uh, he creates a promo trailer. So for example, um, you know, he creates a promo trailer and he's asking, he actually is asking a question too. So he says, we'll be able to add videos to the LinkedIn event other than just a photo. I don't know Paul on that because that's a LinkedIn thing. LinkedIn changed up how LinkedIn events work. Right. So it comes back to the platform. Um, let's see. Uh, Andrew Kavanaugh says, hey, for his stream, says Facebook group, he creates an event page days days ahead. I like that. Mm -hmm. And he also adds a promo to his newsletter. So the newsletter yes. aspect. I like that and one. Then the, like that one. The other, and then for me, the other key thing is days ahead. So 
you're going to get some people that are going to be able to start a live stream and they'll just get people to tune in. But for most people, you got to do the heavy lifting. You got to drive people there. And so you need to give people enough advance notice to let them get to the live stream so they can plan out their time to go there and watch your stream. Um, if you're new and you're streaming, they may not actually want to like, like they may not even know like who you are. And so they need to, you know, they need to have some time to research that and figure out who you are. So here's, here's, here's yeah. a funny thing that I, uh, that he said, the newsletter, a lot of people have an email list. Okay. They're gathering emails from their website and have, what are you doing with that email list? So that's a great point. You know, send a blast out, say, Hey, show on Thursday. Here's my special guest, Christian from StreamYard. He's going to teach us about marketing and streaming, blah, 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 blah. Send that letter out. That's yeah. a great way of letting people know, Hey, I think I want to watch this show. He's going to give us some tips and tricks and send that newsletter out. So that's a good one too. By the way, if you want to join us, there's a favor. Um, I, I'm dropping the green room link as well, but um, I think I think uh, Leo already got that. So we'd love to have you join us. Um, I want to also say like, you know, here's another one. Mr. Pictovid says on his channel, he shares to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, and also creates a Facebook event. Again, it needs to be part of the process. So excellent, excellent, excellent points from everyone. Right. Um, and then I like this one. Let's go. So with uh, Joan Banco, she says, Hey, I send the replay to my list too. Another one. Yes. That's excellent. Actually. So hold on just for let people know. And if you're just joining us for the first time, did you know you can do a replay within StreamYard? So you don't have to use any other platform. StreamYard has the ability to do replays. So you can do a show and then set it up again to stream later on. So for me, what I found out was great. I do my shows in the morning. And I have a lot of my guests that say, hey, Charles, I didn't get to see your show in the morning. So then I started doing replays for the afternoon crowd. And mm -hmm. then you can do all that within the StreamYard platform. So that is a, a, a great way of showing people the show again and get more analytics and put it back out there again. So that's a great yeah. idea. Excellent. Very cool. Um, let's see. What else we got here? Uh, another one from Liz. Liz Wool says she sends a newsletter before the event to tell them. Then the day after, send a newsletter post of the live event and a link to the YouTube channel. Excellent. So yep. again, it needs, so you basically, to make it easy, the easiest thing to do is to set up essentially what is a funnel. So for example, she's got a funnel of, you know, she has an initial one and then she has an, a middle one and then she has an end one. And it's, you know, it's rinse, rinse, wash and repeat in a way. <laughs> but let me ask you this though. Yeah. How's everybody sending it back out? Because within StreamYard now, there's two ways. StreamYard has the ability to embed and to send a link now. So I wanted, I'm asking all of our viewers that are watching, did you know that when you go into your back end, there is an embed feature and a link feature where StreamYard can embed the video so you can use it on your website and other places. And there's a link that you can share to go out that it takes it because some people don't want to put it on YouTube or replay yep. it on different platforms. You know, some websites, you know, you don't want to put a link to YouTube. You want to embed it into your own website. Who knows that, that you can do it right there. Let me know oh, from all the viewers, if you know, you can embed it and there's a link now. Very cool. Okay. So, um, let's do this. Let's, we got some questions about replays as well, actually. Um, okay. So we got, let's do this while I'm waiting for people to come over. Um, a lot of, lot of questions coming in today, my friend. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of questions. So by the way, if you want to come on live with us as well, like we'd love to talk through things. Um, so let's do this. Let me hide some of these banners. And again, we only do this show twice a month, first and third Saturday. So we won't be back till the 19th, I think. Right, Charles? Yeah, I believe so. Yep. 19th. So we're not gonna be back till the 19th. So if you want to come on and join us, we'd love to have you join us. This is the time now. All right. So let's, let's hit some of these questions. You ready? Okay. So let's do this. Right. let's uh, let's start at the top. So um, so Sarah Sanchez wants to know how can others get on live if they don't use Streamyard. So how can I they mean, get on live if they don't use Streamyard? Are, are you, you asking? So, so are you asking like Sarah? Are you asking to have them come on as a guest? That's what I was going to ask if, you. Yes. If that's the case, for example, like right now, if you wanted to come on our live stream, we would send the link out to you. Uh, you would click on it, and then you would come into Streamyard. Um, Yes, they don't have to have a like. I think it, it typically works better when they actually have an account. And it's free, by the way, to sign up. Um, they can go to streamer.com slash plans. I think it is. Let's see. Yep. 
So yeah, that's what you're asking. Plan. It's just a simple link. You know, yeah. you send the link out, they click on it. It's going to ask them to put in their name and say yes to camera, yes to audio, and boom, yeah. they're in your back end and you just bring them on stage. Yep. So that's all they have to do. Um, right. Another Next question one. here. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's coming from Rajiv. They're saying the payment system's not good. I'm not sure, Rajiv, what you're referring to there. Um, if you're asking because you're like, hey, I don't have like, uh, some people don't have credit cards, things like that. Um, Contactstreamer.com slash contact. And they will, um, they can help you with that. So um, I think that's what you're referring to. All right, here's one right here. Let me just double check. Uh, okay, cool. Edwin, can we upload music for background? Not as yet. The not music yet. that's there right now is ones that we know are copyright free. So we're not letting anybody upload as yet because you don't want to get a strike against your YouTube channel or Facebook or anything. These songs right now, are ones that we know are good to go. So yeah, maybe later on, but for now, we're making it safe for everybody by uploading songs that we know. If and, you I, and I want to address another question. So a uh, blind guy, his wife and their life had asked me, um, they were having some issues, I guess, with their uh, with their camera, or sorry, with their um, music. Mm -hmm. um, so so blind guy, his wife and their life, do me a favor. Um, if you reach out to streamer.com slash contact, they actually want to talk to you. I've actually been trying to get a hold of you as well. So um, I've sent you some private messages and I, I just haven't heard back from you um, in regards to your uh, your background music question. So, cool. Um, okay, so let's just, Levi, are you ready? Oh, Levi turned his camera off. Let's see. <laughs> here's here's one here while we're looking at this. Can yeah, we, sure. where, where did it go? Here. Oop. Uh, can can we, we please, please have, please stereo, have screen stereo screen recording? I put okay. the request form, stereo screen recording. So question, so, the, let me ask you this, Chris, what's the difference between stereo screen recording and what would the difference be? I'm not sure what they're trying to do, I guess. Like, I mean, stereo would be like having two different channels of audio. Right. Or having left and right, basically. But then so, if you do left and right, doesn't depending on who's coming on, won't they get a lot of feedback? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure what they're looking for, but mm. uh, Blind Life Gaming, um, yeah, just put it as a feature request, streamer.com slash contact. And, uh, and we can uh, see if we can get that. Yeah, and please, and send a message. More detail. What do you mean? Why, why would you use, I'm interested now. Like, why would you use left Ooh, and right? Good questions here. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's just, let's bring on uh, Levi Aquatics. So Charles, whenever you're ready, let's bring, bring okay, Levi let's Aquatics bring on. on. And then, and they have a question regarding YouTube. So Levi Aquatics, how you, you ready to come on? Thumbs okay, up, cool. buddy. If you're ready, you give me a thumbs up. How there we doing? Go. How we doing? Good. Okay. Um, my question was, um, it's mainly due to YouTube, but um, okay. So I use you guys like I use Streamyard, and um, it let me for the first um stream I did, and then um, like it said I was too young, and it kicked me out and sent mom an email. But okay. um. So I was trying to figure out that, and then I was also wondering how you turn on subscribers only mode. So I think the first thing is the the first question I think I would try to address is I'd address the having an account with your mom, because like every social platform has an age limit, right? And so I would get that first before trying anything else, because um, if you don't, you know, if you don't take care of that first, it's going to make it difficult to do any of the other stuff. Cause then, you know, then you try to do subscribers only. And then, um, in that case, like, you know, if you're talking like YouTube, YouTube might kick you out at that point. So I would get the first thing kind of straightened out first. And that would just be like, you know, your mom getting her to help you with setting up the account, making sure it's set up like correctly like, and don't try to like fudge the age thing, that kind of thing. Okay. Okay. And then in terms of like setting up like subscriber only mode, um, so you'd set that up over on YouTube and then. Um, let me see. So, I, I mean, I assume, do you have monetization enabled at that point or no? Uh, I'm not monetized. Okay. Is, is this a brand new channel too? Um, no, I've had it for three months, I think. Okay. Oh. Okay. So from my understanding, if you go into your back end, you go in there, Christian? Um, yeah. You want to take that one, Charles? Yeah. If we go into your back end, and then go into your settings, 
you can set it for, you know, when it says private, public, and, and all the settings are in the back out of your YouTube channel. So that's where you go, go into your YouTube channel, go into your settings, and then you can decide what you want, how you want it to go out, who can click on, um, subscribers only, all that is in your back end. And in terms of over on StreamYard, what you're going to see, like we, we bring in the chat from the channel. Um, so I, I don't recall if we have, I don't think we have the subscriber only option. No, it would, it'd be, it would, yeah. from my understanding, it would come from whatever you set up. So for oh. example, if we had, if we had subscribers only set up, it would only show us subscribers only to our feed before yeah. we can bring it on. Oh, okay. Got it. And if you, and here's the thing, if you have any questions, feel free to, you know, if you try it and you're like, Hey, I'm still stuck. Um, be sure to reach out to our, our support team, um, at streamair.com slash contact. And they, they'll actually help yeah. you with all sorts of things. Um, you know, in, like they'll help you with, you know, if you have questions on something or you get stuck on any little thing, like they'll help you. So, okay. Right. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Yep. Awesome. Enjoy. Uh, good luck with your live stream. I like it. Young guy already starting to stream. <laughs> that is very cool. Yeah. Yeah. See, everybody's starting to stream young, but I like it. But from my understanding too, on that, you must have a paid subscribers plan. So I think what you said was right. He should make sure that the age and make sure everything is done first properly before he can go in and set everything up. I think that's why he's having problems. So once he gets the age thing set up with his mom, then he'll be able to uh, do more things. Yeah, you you definitely I definitely would take care of that first because I mean the thing is you could put all this effort into getting the plan together for subscriber only side of things and then you get kicked out for the age thing or something like that you know and so uh, yeah. but it is cool so Michael J saying hey you know hey Levi good luck uh, so definitely you know I, I'm I'm uh, I'm proud that you've started a channel that's pretty cool yeah I like that I like oh. that he's he's interested in doing one and yeah and he's doing it smart too, subscribers only. So, you know, that's a smart way to do it as a young, young teen, you know, just have your friends come on, you know, cause you don't want outside people and hackers and whatever, cause he's just starting out. So that's a good way of doing it. Definitely. Yep. No, nope, I agree. Very cool. Okay. So let's do this. Let's take it. We're going to take a couple questions real quick. And then, uh, we've got Isaiah here. So let me right, find, so hold on. This one got a lot of questions. So. Yeah. This, this one I want to bring up cause this, this no, one up. happened to me a couple of times. I know it's happened to everybody else. So, uh, what happens when about to go live and you run into technical difficulties? <laughs> so what kind, so I guess like, okay, so if you're about to go live and you run a technical difficulty, I think the first thing is, and you, you have to remember this. So if you're streaming to Facebook, for example, Facebook has a, uh, they have a timer that plays at the beginning and you have nine minutes. Uh, from when your stream is scheduled to start. So if it's scheduled yeah. to start at 12 o'clock, you have till 12.09. For example, we were late today because Charles was, his camera was doing some weird stuff. Right. And so um, Charles' camera was doing some stuff. And so um, I needed to like, you know, we needed to get that figured out. And so we had nine minutes. So in that case, that gave us a few minutes to kind of figure things out. Now, if it gets past that nine minutes and you're streaming to Facebook, here's what's going to happen. Facebook is going to cancel the stream and you're going to have to start a brand new one. Right. So um, if you do happen to have a technical difficulty, I, if it were me personally, I would have a graphic ready and then you put it out on whatever social platform and say something, you know, to the effect of like, if it was Facebook or, uh, you know, on Facebook, it would be like, Hey, you know, just a heads up, we have some technical difficulties. We'll be starting later and then you can keep people updated. Or if it's on like YouTube, you could consider putting something like an image in the community tab. So that would be something as well to check out. And then don't forget though, depending on which social media you're going to, they all have different limits. So LinkedIn and YouTube have different minutes. Uh, Facebook is nine, but I think LinkedIn is shorter. Yeah. So be careful on where you're streaming. You have less minutes depending on social. But I think with all of them, you have a good five minutes to go correct things. It's happened to me before, about to go live. And like we said, my camera wasn't working. And I was like, oh, and then the thing flashes and it warns you. It tells you you're supposed to go live and it gives you a little warning signal on the, the feed itself. All right. So don't worry. You have time. It happens to everybody. All right. Cool. Oh, this guy okay. looks very familiar in the green room. He was on our show before. I can see he's hype. Cool. You ready? Okay. Let's go. Yep, let's bring on. Cool. How you doing, Isaiah? <laughs> oh. Hey, doing well. How you doing? Hey, buddy. How you doing? 
doing 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 well thank you guys for doing this i i, I was kind of uh, glad that i was able to get on it today i uh, i know i was on the show probably about a month and a half ago yep yep and if i remember correctly uh you're you're streaming some um town hall meetings or political stuff no 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 is it is 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 a hunting show is it is a okay. hunting outdoor channel uh, okay okay it's, it's, it's all in spanish so like all my lives and all my context is in spanish okay uh in uh in colorado nice so, okay so what do we what do we do for you today so uh one of one of the issues i'm having i'm i'm trying i don't know how to uh so most of my lives they usually cap about 300 400 views okay. So I've been trying different di di different things, just like you guys were discussing at the beginning. You know, do do a trailer, set it up ahead of time, share it in in in, in, in different uh, other social media. But uh, still, you know, it, it's still the same amount the same amount of people or views so far. And I'm trying to like take a look at the analytics of the live, see if I'm able to identify other stuff. But I really don't understand it much so i don't know it may be a complicated question but i know i'm trying to look at the analytics and see where people come in the, the most or when would because my lives usually run about an hour so i don't know if they're too long or or or, or if it, if this just the right amount of time i don't know so i'm trying to understand the analytics better okay so here's here's one question for you and this is something that everybody can do. Does it make a difference what you're doing? Have you tried reaching out to other um, channels, websites that do the same thing that you do? Uh, yes, I, I actually, in fact, have some uh, has some collaborations with other channels about my my same my same size because I'm I'm kind of going uh, close to four thousand uh, subs right now. Nice. So, uh, and and we have done a uh, we we have done a a corroboration before and that was kind of interesting <laughs> just putting someone else to come on on, on board on stream yard with you and trying to teach them how to use it uh, so that was kind of interesting but yes <laughs> <laughs> so here's here's the thing what a lot of people fail to understand is like yeah you have so much of your regular visitors right sometimes you need yes. to go outside your box to bring in new visitors so if that okay. might be you know teaming up with somebody for a week to promote each other's show. Right. And people might be okay. thinking, well, if you promote your show to them, they might take your viewers, not necessarily because your show and their show are two different shows. So they're going to like it regardless. They're going to stay, but this is an opportunity to showcase to their viewers, what your channel is like, what you're doing. Okay. When so it comes science, since you mentioned, oh, so, no, no, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, so since you mentioned that, uh, I, I was brainstorming this, you know, uh, on streaming it. If, we, if I do a, 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 a collaboration with someone else, you know, because uh, I can, I have one seat that I can add to my account. Right. And we, and he can come on board and I can, we can stream it at the same time to his channel and my channel. It, I don't know if that's going to create any problems with Facebook or after that, you know, no signs they monetize my, my live stream and then they're going to also monetize his. And I, I, I don't know if that creates any issues with face uh, uh, with YouTube. No, you're just, you're sharing it depending on how you're sharing your stream with each other. Right. Okay. So for example, there's, there's fans of mine that are watching and now there's fans of Christians that are watching. But now they get to see Christian and all the knowledge he has about his cameras, the tech stuff. So people are now all of a sudden, you know, they talk to me and they say, yo, Chuck, your partner really knows his stuff about the tech stuff. I'm like, yeah, Christian's got everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> so now he's got new followers that will follow him. People have reached out to me and said, hey, Chuck, we've seen you on StreamYard with Christian. Yo, can you do some stuff for us? It's a cross promotion. It's a great thing. So sometimes it depends on how you set it up. So make okay. sure if you're going right. to, if you're going to collaborate with somebody, number one, always set the ground rules. Okay? okay. What you guys are doing with each other, how are you going to push it out? What role is yours? What role is his work it out together? Are you doing it just one time? You're doing it once a week. You're doing it twice a week. Is it a special you do once a month? These are all different things you can do with each other. So some people will be like, oh, it's, you know, it's the last, it's the last uh, Wednesday of the month. These, these two are going to team up together. 
it's a, like it's a special and then you have all these different fans that come in and their fans can ask you questions his fans can ask you questions it's more engaging so that's one option of, of partnering up for live streams okay i, I see man oh, thank you no like i said i've been trying different different stuff you know stuff i mean every show that you guys have with mel and you guys and everything like that you know trying uh, yeah. with nick nimmin trying yeah. to trying you no know, trailers promotion uh doing you know uh, no within within my lives you know like this last one, I, I, I started implementing some of the stuff that I learned uh, from you guys as far as creating, you know, like the breaks in between, like do like a little short eight to ten second, uh, uh, ten, eight to ten second small video and just upload it, you know, just kind of to make it more interesting. Uh, but, you know, and my graphics are getting better. Thank you to you guys. And I'm using Canva now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Very cool. Um, All right, buddy. Thanks for joining awesome. us. Thanks, Isaiah. No, no. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye. So that's so that's that's another thing too, everybody. Like, you know, partnering up, pushing it out, promoting is another great way. And guess what? It's free. <laughs> Think about it. You're not spending any more money because you're joining someone else, and you guys are working together. So that's another way of doing it. And then uh, uh, another person that has a great suggestion too is, you know, do some of your replays replace to other avenues that you might never played out before. Another good idea. Yeah. And Sarah's asking for instructions for a replay. I mean, I guess you could do it a couple ways. I mean, one thing would be, so for example, like every single, like let's say you stream once a week and let's say you're like, Hey, you know what? Uh, I can't make next week or something like that. What some people will do is they will take that past episode. There's a, a pre-recorded live streaming feature. So when you go to um, create a new broadcast, you'll see, use pre-recorded live stream and you can select your past broadcast and basically re-air it if you want to. Right. So, um, so and that's then, an option there for you. And then, like I said, my show is at 11 o'clock every day, but that's AM. Mm -hmm. So some people yeah. at work, they can't get off. They can't come for lunch. So what I do, I send the same show back out at seven in the afternoon. So people can see it who never missed it in yeah. the day can watch it in the afternoon and send it back out. So there awesome. you go. So, hey, big shout out going out to Adam. Adam's always here. He's a long time watcher. So, Adam, how you doing, my friend? And Adam, I'll pull up Adam's right here. Adam says he needs to do more Canva tutorials <laughs> to get yeah. more effects and graphics. So, I don't know if you just came in, Adam, but the good thing about it is that um, Christian said that he, we've just uploaded some, some more themes. So just make sure that you go on and take a look at the new themes. He's got he's got the Valentine's one. I think I love that one the best. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty cool, right? Yeah, I like that one the best. So there you go. So there's always themes there as well. You can go look. Is the file still there, Christian? Uh, is it where? Um, last time we talked, you said there was a file that you can upload and has all the graphics that you guys have done. It's there in the system. Yeah, I think, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, so you guys can take a look. There's a lot of stuff there for you guys. All right. Okay, All right. Is, we got on. a lot of questions. So I got, uh, we got two people backstage. We got a third person coming in. Um, so let's, so let's, 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 let's tackle three questions right now. So Just to say that. let's go. Uh, let's go. So with Joan Banco wants to know, can you use the new music feature for a short countdown prior to the show starting? Um, you could, I think. Uh, let's see. Yes. So basically... So what, what you would do, is, I'm going to, I'm going to keep her question up, but it would look like this, I guess. Yeah. So we would put the, we would put an overlay up. So for example, let me just, I'll turn the ticker off and I'll turn off the comment actually one second. So I'll turn off the comment and everything like that. I would do this. I would then start my, so I'd hit go live and then I would, you know, let's just, I'm going to bump the volume down, but like we would play the background music and you get some background music. You can hear that, right? Turn it up, person. Turn it up. There we go. So to answer her question, yes, you can do that. Yep. And like Christian said um, earlier, someone said, if you're having technical difficulties, what can you do? You could just have a, a picture that says, we'll be right back and play music while you're fixing something in the background. So there's another option there. Just have, have the sign ready. We'll be right back and just play some music while people are waiting, so they know that you're coming back. It's not like a, it's not a, um, a frozen image or anything, because the back the music will be playing, so they know it's not a frozen image. Yeah. 
Very cool. Okay, so that's one question. Let's take a second question. Um, let's see. Uh, let's find an. I'm gonna. I have some good ones here, but I don't want to like. They are a little more involved. Okay, here, um, here's one. Here's one right here. Let's see what he got. What is the best way to use sound effects in StreamYard? Okay, you take that one. All right. So there's many ways of doing it. One, if you have a Stream Deck. So if you have Stream Deck, you can bring in sounds that way. That's number one. Number two, if you have something like a Go XLR. So that's a soundboard that you can add sound effects in. Um, Christian, which one do you use? Uh, for sound effects, I'm using the Rodecaster Pro. There you go. And it's real simple. You upload it into the system, and then you could just have different sound yeah, effects. It has, yeah, it has its own sound. <laughs> Very cool. Just, just by a push of a button. There you go. Uh, by the way, uh, I, I want to address this question as well from, uh, let me see if I can find it, Tribulation Kids. You know, I, I know you've asked the question three times, but... Um, we're, we'll get to them. Like we, we, you know, it depends on how involved it is, but I'll take your question now. It says, is there, uh, let me find it. it. says, is there a way to get the live chat to stay on the screen without clicking it? Uh, the answer to that's no. So, um, and, and here's the thing. The reason that that's not an option at the moment is because it also comes down to like, how do you want the, like, how do you want your stream to come across to people? So, you know, if, if you have it where, you know, here's their question. Um, if all the comments were coming up, here's the problem with that all the comments come up and you have no ability to remove the ones. So like, let's say there was something offensive in there or things like that. It's literally, you know, they're all just coming up on your stream. Now we are working on some additional, like I think that is maybe on the roadmap because we've had a lot of people ask for it as well, but um, to have like, you know, maybe some comments behind us or something like that. Yeah. So, and the thing is you always got to be careful when someone drops some, you know, you, there's always uh, trolls out there. Yeah. And they go on, they troll your screen. You don't want them just, having the ability just to roll things through your site. Okay. One more question. So let's do, let's see. Um, All right. Grab a bad boy. Which one do you want? Uh, I'll take this one. Uh, it's Kashini saying, is it possible to be able to set up banners, overlays, et cetera, without having to set up a private live to be able to access the StreamYard studio? So yes. Well, you, you need to create the broadcast regardless. Right. You got to create the broadcast. And so then- yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead, Kristen. I was going to say, no, go, ahead, go ahead. Yep. Go into your back end and set um, record only. So you're not streaming out to anybody. Do a fake one. Go into the back end, hit record only. It opens up, and then you just set your folders, set your overlays, and everything. So you don't have to go live or anything to set your stuff up. So when I know I have a show coming up, I go in, I do a, a, a pre one. And when I know I'm going to go live, I go into the edit section and add all the streams. So you can go in and preset all your stuff before you actually go live. So just go into the back end, set record only, set everything up, and then when you're ready to go live, go to edit and then add all your all your uh, social streams to go to. And then there it is. You can set it up without going live. Cool. Okay, uh, so let's just, let's bring up uh, Bruce. Bruce, if sorry, you're ready, me, my friend, let me make give sure, me some thumbs on. up. Hold on, let me make sure. Hold on, let me make sure I got the right order. Uh, yeah, Bruce. Bruce says he wants to know how to to come as a guest to an account he's a producer on. So Bruce, how you doing? All right, good. So you're able to ask my last question well, a few months ago was how to come on being invisible. You got that with the, yep. channel, the avatars. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this way, um, I'm producing a show, it's my okay. account, and the, the host is on first, but then when I come on, I come on in his spot on okay. the left side of the screen, and I wanna come out on the right side instead. Sure. Watch this, Bruce. I think you're, well, I, like I think what he's asking those maybe to, is that what you're kind of looking for? Are you looking to bring no, them it, on? No, it's basically from the beginning of the show, I wanted to automatically pull me up on the right side. So basically, me as a guest would be full screen. Yeah. Right? And then Kristen so would come on. Charles. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, but you've already, if you take both of you out of the room. Right. So you're basically backstage. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me do this. I'm going to remove both of us and just keep talking. Okay. So then basically, so I would be the guest account and then Christian would come on as the guest. Okay. That worked. Okay. So is it basically <laughs> because the way I'm doing it? What, what were you doing? I guess that's the question. Cause, um, I, here, cause here's literally all I did. I removed here. Actually, you know what? Let me, let me actually show the screen and I'll show you exactly what I did. Oh, I didn't do anything special. Okay. I literally that's, just that's I mean it, it seems simple, but it doesn't seem to be working. 
Okay, let's see. I like that. And you, and you know how technology always works. I mean, it's like it sometimes it doesn't work. Yep. And then it's like, oh, you, somebody helps you with something, and all of a sudden it's back up working. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whenever you call for the uh, the uh, repair person, like, oh, it, it's, it's doing it. It's working now, but it wasn't working before. Yes. Okay. Basically, so the guest account is here first, and I'm backstage because he's full screen. Yep. And then yeah, and this is what I want to do is bring. It's, it's working for you. Yeah, and the yeah. only thing I did was make sure I have the group layout selected. Yeah. Okay. So does that help? It does if it <clears throat> if it does what you're doing. So I, I guess <laughs> I mean because it, it, again we did it in rehearsal and it worked in rehearsal, and as soon as we went live, I came up on his side, and basically what really what happens is we've got a graphic that's half the screen. Yes. And so I, I want to be behind the graphic so I don't they don't see me. Yeah. But then when I come on, it's me and he's now behind the graphic. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. That's different though. Hold on. So I've got it, I've just been I've got an overlay up on the screen. And which cut takes up half the screen. Oh then okay. when I go from full screen to half screen, shared screen. You mean like this? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me Take something off here for a second. Hold on one second. Remove. Okay, so he comes on first. And then I put up a, gra a graphic that's basically halfway down the screen. Like that? Well, no. Uh, but yeah, but, but you're a graphic. And I'm still the, the frame like that. Okay, I see what you're saying now. I see what right, you're saying I mean, now. What you're doing here mm -hmm. is working the way I want it to work. Okay. I just need to make make it work out when I do it. <laughs> I get what you're saying now. Yeah. So here, here's the number thing I always tell everybody is this comes with more practice, more practice, more practice, because I used to do the same thing. I know exactly what you're talking about. I always want to be on a certain side when I start and my guess on the other side. So I know every time I start to show which one of the overlays on the bottom mm -hmm. I hit first and then it will switch it over. So that's the thing. You always have to keep practicing that. Because if we, for example, if I take you back out and Christian, and then I bring you up first, like that, right? Right. And that's what happens when I come on. Yes. So you just have to practice on which order to, to put it on. And then that's it. Okay. All right, my friend. Good. I think we've got an answer there. There cool. you go. Have a good one. Well, thanks. Thanks, right. Bruce. Bye. Yeah, it's funny that a lot of people don't know that you can switch it. And depending on who you bring on first, second, and third, with the graphics on the bottom, slides them over automatically. So every time you have more than one people, it automatically is just going to rotate the next person. So there you go. All right, so let's tackle, some, let's yeah, tackle let's some more questions. questions. Um, uh, so Mohammed Yamin is asking... Without paying, how can I get the background overlay off screen? So, no, uh, you're talking about this. Is he talking about the logo in the corner? You know how you have I the can't tell you, which one is he, right there. You see, it says yeah. powered by. You have to pay the next yeah, level yeah. Right. to get to get the uh, puddles off screen. If that's what you're asking, if you're on the free version, then yeah. If you want to take your own and do your own backgrounds then you have to pay to the next level. And that way you can use any background you want. See, I can take puddles off. I can put a timer up there. You know, I can change, I can change whatever graphic I want in the corner because I've gone to that next level in the StreamYard levels. And it's great. It gives you a lot more option. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, um, more more questions. See. So I think it's this is the same one actually. Lorraine saying, "Hello, I'm new to Streamyard, but I'm I'm able to create a background, but I have a picture on top of that. How do I get rid of the overlay on top?" So Lorraine, I'm not sure. I think it's the same thing. We're yeah. we talking about like a graphic on top of an overlay. Uh, like what are we talking about? So background is the one behind you. The video feed overlay goes in front, and then the logo goes in front of that. Right. Uh, the so Streamyard sandwich. So. Hold on, let's do this. Have a picture on top of that. How so, do I get rid of that overlay on top? Okay, you so, have to, yeah. So hold on. I'm going to put up our picture. Okay. 
and I'm going to put up puddles. So depending on what you're saying, I can take away puddles because puddles on, on top of the overlay. Your message is on top of the graphic and I can take the graphic from behind. So it depends on what order you put them in. It's going to lay on top. Yeah. So you have control of where, what goes on top of what. All right. Cool. And then, um, I got, let me find this question. Uh, another, another question this person was asking about the payment system. Um, so Abde, like, again, reach out to streamer.com slash contact and talk with our support team there. Um, some of them don't, you know, again, some of them support having, like, you might have to, you, I think you have to have a credit card to sign up, um, but chat with our support team and they can help you a little bit better with that. There you go. Uh, okay. Let's do one more question. Uh, so let's go. So with Joan Banco, I'll tell you right now, she's asking, what are you using to do all the switching straight up? Nothing. <laughs> I, I love I'm using, it. this is what I'm using. I'm using a mouse and I'm using my fingers. I love That's literally I, it. I love, but I do question. have a stream deck and I do have hotkeys, yeah, but I'm not I using love, them right now. No, I love this question because people don't know. Okay. Watch this. If you just put your mouse on my face, like I'm on the other end and I click it, I'm going to just drag myself over to Christian's side and let go. And it automatically switches us over. Your mouse and StreamYard is your keys. That's all you need to do. Everything works seamlessly. So if I want to bring in a graphic, just click it. If I just want to take the sign off, just click it. It does all the work for you. That's the number one thing I love about StreamYard. There's nothing you all have to do. It does all the work for you. So I love that question. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Okay, so let's do this. Let's take one one more question because we got a yep, lot. Go. I want to make sure. Um, let's see. So uh, Brady wanted to know when I go live on YouTube, how can I tell people are watching? So on YouTube, so so actually, let's do this inside of Streamyard. Actually, so Streamyard, you have two things. If you're streaming to YouTube, um, you can go onto your YouTube video. And if you're not seeing it on YouTube, you do need to log in and click on the icon in the top corner and go down to YouTube studio. And then you have to go under videos and then you have the ability to sort by pre-recorded and live, go under live and you will see your video there and you can click the share link and actually go and see. And they will tell you, it says how many people are watching. Um, the other option is if you are inside of StreamYard, you have the ability inside of StreamYard as well to, um, to see uh, your, your rough viewers, uh, inside of StreamYard, And let me actually demo that one real quick. So I'm going to just go into, you know, I'm going to go into this one and I'll kind of talk through this. So here I am inside of the StreamYard studio. And so what, what you're going to see right here, 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 right
is it possible for a dark mode? Chris, um, do us a favor, go to streamer.com slash contact. If it's a feature request and submit it to us. We've got a lot of people that have submitted that one, but just go to streamer.com slash contact and fill out the form and tell us, just tell us basically what you're looking for. Okay. Right. So we've got, um, we're going to bring on blind life gaming. So they don't have their camera on uh, blind life gaming. Uh, let me see what your question was. Um, He wants to talk about uh, about stereo. So blind life gaming, how we doing? Oh, you're muted. Yeah. There you go. Hey guys. Hey. hey how are you? So yeah, explain Good, to me you. about the the stereo part now. Okay. Um. So when you're playing like a game, normally mm -hmm. if you're playing like a shooting game, yes, mm -hmm. like Call of Duty or something, usually the sound comes from like your left or your right ear. Yeah. Okay. So if it, so if someone's shooting you from your left, it'll probably be in your left ear, and like vice versa. Gotcha. But if you're streaming, it stays in the middle, and it doesn't move around. Mm -hmm. For the viewers, is there any way of changing that? Okay, so I get it. You the sound effects you want it to come from like whichever way. It's, yeah, you want to it's, pan. Yeah. You want to be able to pan the have the like. It's like in your if you're in a surround sound, you want to be yeah. have the certain sounds. Um, I would say I don't think there's a way to change that. Let me look real quick. So um, let me ask you this: What there you, is what a stereo you... audio? Actually, have you gone into um, have you gone into cam cam mic settings inside of a broadcast? Is that is that stereo mic though? Is that is that, is that or is that screen sharing? Uh, here, let me let me pull that up real quick. And what what are you using to bring it in? Like, what other platform are you using? An Xbox? Uh, what are you using? I'm using Windows to use. Oh. So you're so gaming. You... I'm using PC. Okay, so. Yeah, go Charles. Right, so you're gaming on Windows and you're pushing it out through the StreamYard. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So here's what so I think. It's just standing like, like, like one place and it's just going from one area. So the thing I was telling you is this. I would say go to Cam Mike down here. So go first create a new broadcast and go to yeah. Cam Mike and go to audio and see about checking this stereo audio option. This may work. But what I think you're going to maybe need is I don't know, like on a PC, you may need to use ear trumpet or something like, or maybe even voice meter to route your audio through that and then bring that into StreamYard. Because like OBS and Streamlabs do the same thing, but like Streamlabs and OBS do the stereo, but I just, I was wondering if StreamYard could do that because other things I've tried doing um, ear trumpet and things, and they're not accessible to the screen readers that I use and StreamYard is. Now, are you using OBS to go into StreamYard? No, I'm just using the, the web version. Okay, so just you know you live can... strip from there. Okay, so you know that you can use OBS in StreamYard. Stream uh, OBS is not accessible. Um, I've had a look and I can't add the sources into StreamYard. Sighted help. No, I can't add sources in OBS without sighted help. You what? I couldn't hear you. What you're saying? Like, you know, the sources in OBS where you can, yeah, like, yeah. add. I can't do that without sighted help. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm not so this is I'm, why I'm, like, relying on StreamYard. It's the, it's the only sort of one I've found that can do everything but the stereo screen recording, which I need screen sharing. No, but what I'm saying is, in OBS, if you use it in OBS, use stereo, that sound will go into StreamYard. Have you tried so it now? have to stream with OBS for that? Yeah, so you know how you know in OBS it says you want to hear that take the sound from here. Yeah, have you tried using that sound from there and then push it through to StreamYard? I think I did try that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not. I, I honestly am not sure on that one. Um, I would say try reaching out to our support team at streamer.com/contact. Yeah, it may there may be. Okay. I think there may be somebody on the team that can help with that one. I'll okay. try the audio. I didn't actually try the audio and camera settings. Okay. I'll try that and then. Cool. So, what's your, so quick question support. before you go. What's the favorite game? What are you playing? Um, Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Okay, there you go. I'll look for you. We can, we'll can. have a match. Nice. Yep. All right, buddy. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Thanks. Yeah, that's interesting. I like okay. now I understand like you know different ways of using it because he wants the sound effects to be coming both sides. That's that's something interesting. So we got a lot of questions and we got one more guest to bring on. By the way, so, all right, let's hit it. Um, let's see. 
Here's a good one from Sarah. Does the audience on Facebook Live have to give a always give a permission to StreamYard to viewer comment to my broadcast? So in a Facebook group, Facebook uh, StreamYard.com slash Facebook, they can go to that and they have to authenticate there. Otherwise, we're not going to you're not going to see them. You won't bring them in as through the comments and whatnot. Now, in terms of if they have to always do it, I think it depends on if they've cleared their cash or things like that. Okay, what other um, what other questions do we have, Charles? Okay, hold on. Okay, let's do this one right here. Uh, can you show this now uh, via screen share? What's this? She was asking about a feature earlier that we had talked about. Oh. But I'm not sure oh, which one it was. I think, I think she wanted to see the starred feature, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody was asking about this. How do you do the starred feature? I, like, so I put, a I put a link to a tutorial. Yeah, we have a video tutorial on that. There we go. It literally is just going into the live comments. Here, I'll just go and show that. I think that's what they're asking for. Yeah. Okay, so let me go into a test broadcast. Okay, so here I am inside of a test broadcast, and I've only got one comment here, but this is how this, yeah, you know, you can't see that, sorry. So there you go. I'm in a test broadcast, and let's say you want to share this out. Uh, you want to use the star comment, the star comments feature. You go over to comments, and then when you hover over your comment, you'll see there's a star. And when you click it, it's going to now create a live and starred section. And so you can, you know, if you want to remove it, you just click that and it goes back to regular comments. Um, or you can go to starred and decide you want to show it. And if you're finished, you can click that and then click the star to remove it from your list. So that's how starred comments works. Okay. All right. So here. here's, one, um, here's one more question. Yeah, what's up? Adam, I want to figure out how to download my live stream from YouTube and find a good editing program. So, so that's, this that's easy, actually. There's two ways yeah. you can download this. One is inside of StreamYard. There you go. You can and go, the, here, let me. Let me and that's the broadcast. easiest way, Adam. I do that after every show. So when you finish your show, here, I'll go to you. past. So it looks like this. Where Christian's past going right now, past broadcast. Go over to your right where the three dots are. And now here's the great thing about this. There's so many options now. It says download recording. Now, before we do that, someone in the question was asking us as well, where do we find the embed and share? It's right in those in that same section. See, it's right there. It says embed and share. That's where you find it as well. Okay. So now it's going to ask you download recording. You're going to click yes to download recording. And then when you click yes to download recording, it's going to ask you, how do you want to download it? You can download video, audio only. And there's another great feature now, split audio. So if it's me and Christian, it'll download our separate voices. Yeah, and, and you have to enable that one, by the way. Right. So if you go up to um, download, Christian, click download. So if I click download recording, now it's going to say video or audio. And if I click right. download audio, it'll I think it'll download the whole thing. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, so it's going to start downloading it. Oops. There you go. So that's how cool. easy it is. And then you just download. You're going to see the bottom of your screen. It's going to drop. And then you just take that into, uh, if you want to do audio only, I use Audacity. It's a free program. Put it in, into Audacity, and then you can cut it up and change it and edit it. And if you're looking for video, what I like is WeVideo. I think that's the easiest program to use. What do you use, Kristen, to edit videos? Uh, I use Final Cut Pro, but like you also can use like, I, I use like ScreenFlow, Final Cut Pro, QuickTime. Uh, if you want something to help generate clips out of that, I use Lately.ai. Um, but again, these are like, you don't need all of these tools. Um, you just got to pick one that's going to work for you. Yeah, so. quick, easy, simple, and there you go. Okay, so let's do this. Let's, um... oh. I see we have my makeup artist in the green we do, room. Yes. So let me take one more question real quick. All right. And then we're going to bring her up because I want to just, we got a lot of questions. That's good. Um, so I need, I Carla is asking, is it possible to use a personalized background music? So the answer is right now, if you're, so we have background music in StreamYard, but it's only the ones we have uploaded. If you have your own, and I think you asked this in our Facebook group, you, uh, if, it, um, if you have like a Rodecaster Pro or 
other software like that, uh, you can bring music in that way. So that's your other option. But the key thing is copy Make sure you own the license right. and get approved. Free. <laughs> Make sure it's I can't say that enough, everybody. Copyright free music. All right. All right. So let's go. I need some makeup tutorials. I see I'm getting a shadow right here. You know what I mean? See how we can fix fix the bald head in the shadow. You ready? Stop laughing before I bring you on. Okay, here we go. Okay, sure. <laughs> hey, sorry. How are you doing? Oh, your camera's looking good. Looking Thank you. I'm actually trying this blur thing, which is driving my <laughs> my people nuts. Because yeah. you're trying to figure it out. It's like, are you blurry? I'm like, no, the background. And it's with a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see me. <laughs> so I found that I even felt uh, following Mel too for yeah. all these things on Wednesdays. So yeah. I saw that she was doing one of those. And that's how I found out this view of window. <laughs> so I am my, I'm actually enjoying all these new features that you guys are putting in there. And the, Awesome. Control shift, being able to do your hotkeys mm -hmm. a lot easier with your own keyboard as I'm doing yeah. the makeup with one hand and doing control shift with the other one. Mm -hmm. So cool. it's a lot easier. So speaking of which, I would like your assistance and we'll talk yeah, about the powder later, Charles. Okay. <laughs> okay what's, the, what's the question? A little shine yeah. right there. But okay. <laughs> Time management. So you know how we, um, I asked you this um, some time ago. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure it out and I'm trying to, uh, as I just been sick and on and off, I'm like, I'm trying to think about my whole entire life here. <laughs> it just went before my eyes and I go, okay, this is getting to the point that is very, I was getting very exhausted because mm -hmm. I do a whole lot of research before, even though I talk about celebrity gossip too and all the other stuff and it's like i want to make sure i cross-reference information whatnot and i was getting exhausted of doing my life uh because people is like oh you just extend and i was like you have no idea that in order for me to extend i have to have content right and i'm not just gonna go sit down and read comments it's just a waste of time for you and me so doing all this stuff and i was like okay i went from initially that it was two hours. I was like, this is ridiculous. I wouldn't even sit two hours to watch me. Uh -huh. Then I go to an hour and a half. And then I, it seems like, and I went back to my beginnings and I noticed that I was doing 35 minutes to 50 minutes kind of a content. And I wasn't quite as stressed. The thing is uh -huh. now that I, it's been what, four or five months that I've been on the longer run what is your best time management tool to be able to like con cut it out? Especially like for my kind of thing that I'm doing, which is celebrity, mm -hmm. that things are coming up four or five, no, six, 10. And well, then you go, ah, here, here's what I'm going to ask you. How often do you stream? Number one, uh, Monday through Friday, Monday to Friday. Okay. Mm -hmm. So did you think about that? If you stream for, you usually stream for what? Two hours. Uh, right now for an hour, uh, from between an hour 20 to an hour and 30. So if you take an hour 30, say you take an hour 30 mm -hmm. and you cut that in half, there's two 45 minute shows right there. Okay. So, so you do a lot of research, which is great. Mm -hmm. So the research you do for one long show, you can cut that up and there's your two shows. So you're cutting out okay. time. You're cutting out doing thinking about content for every day for every different show. Yeah. And it's okay to be behind one day. Well, that's what I was having a hard time with. You're, because it's, okay. it's like, no! <laughs> no, you don't. There's some, there's, some, there's some videos that are out there on YouTube that are making crazy recaps for, for stuff that's happened two weeks ago. But it's the way they put it out. So people are watching it because it's different. And you might be different. So if I come up and talk to you about something that happened two weeks ago, you're like, oh, yeah, it happened two weeks ago. But let me get your take on it. Okay. It's different. So you don't have to be. On like, the day of that things are no, developing or happening. No. Well, that's what I'm having the hardest time to choose to narrow down topics as be some some of them because I'm doing international. Right. So there is a, a whole lot of information from one side to another. You go, well. If you're talking, I started, I'm like, I started with four topics, 
which I felt, you know, you feel refreshed. You do your show, you're done, move on. And I was getting worn out by this whole here's, streaming. Here's, here's the number one thing I'm going to tell everybody that's watching. If you're burnt out, your stream doesn't look fun anymore because you're not having fun anymore. Yes. So if I'm getting tired of doing research and coming on every day, I'm not showing my best feature. I'm not being me, Charles. Enjoyable. Fun. <laughs> Enjoyable because I'm like stressed out because I had to go read. read. No. The best okay. live stream is when the host is having fun, giving you great information, but not feeling like, okay, there's hour number one. Okay, let's do hour number two now. No. To me, and this is my personal opinion, mm -hmm. if you're doing an hour and a half and you're getting tired, it's going to end up showing in your stream. Got it. Okay. Cut it in half and give me 45 minutes of hardcore you. I'd Got rather it. take a, a wow factor of hardcore you like, hey, everybody, did you hear what happened last week? This is what happened. Okay. I know about you compared to, okay, everybody. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, no. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> okay. That's just me. You know, okay. be you. You don't want to have burnout. That's the number one thing about streaming. Radio, when I used to do radio and podcasting, everything, when you get burned out, you're not, it's not you anymore. And that's what people came to see. They came to see your style. So that's just what it is now uh on a follow-up when do you want to take let's say time off in a type of show that i do mm -hmm. what is the best way for you like, do you say you know what i am out for two weeks whatever vacation no streaming anything or do you prepare something to stream if you are monday through friday for example like me me personally yes. prepare something because you're still going to have your fans okay coming to watch you don't want your fans coming and go She's not here today. She's not here tomorrow. Uh oh, she canceled her show. She's not streaming anymore. You don't want to lose your fans. Got it. Okay. So you, can, you can do something like, hey, guys, going on vacation. But guess what? Don't worry about it. I got some of my top shows lined up. So don't go okay. nowhere. And I got some secrets. So maybe sure you watch each one because the end of each show, there's a little nugget in there for you. Okay. It's going to bring people, even though you're not doing it, it's a replay. But they said there's some nuggets in there. Is gonna catch it. They're gonna catch it. Interest on them. Okay. Yeah, keep them interesting. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So that's that's it for me for now. So no problem. it's oh my goodness. And powder, you can use they have a really cool powders for guys for the shine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you put it on a little bit before. I don't, think I don't think Christian needs it. I do though, right here. So it's all good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so awesome. much. Bye. Bye. Hey, Leo. You've always got to watch out for that uh, mute, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you, my friend. See, the, the, there you go. I was not quite ready. And uh, yeah, I think uh, we all need as much Java as you drink, Charles, to uh, keep us as happy and as uh, active as you are on, on, on screen. It is hard when you do five days a week. It yeah. really is. And as you say, you've got to bring your A game. Otherwise, people aren't going to watch it. And that is uh, the engagement factor is always something everybody's got to work on. A hundred percent. Because they, you know, people come to see you for certain things. And if, Absolutely. and if Leo's not on his game, they're going to be like, oh, what's yeah. going on with Leo? Leo's not That's giving it. me 100%. So. That's it. That's it. Ex exactly. I just, um, as I said, I had an outage earlier and I was, my internet was out. I also noticed that my sound was down as well when I came on earlier. So I've uh, bumped that up. So um, I'm back online. That's always something we always talk about as well, isn't it? Just making sure that people can hear you. Uh, seeing you is really important, but hearing you is even more important. Okay. So Leo, I'm going to pull you up full screen because I want to ask you Far a away. question. Far away. You All can, right. you can. This isn't my normal layout, but yeah, far away, far away. <laughs> what mic arm are you using? Okay, so this is the um, Gato uh, low profile arm, which sits below me. So normally mic arms come over like this. Yes. Uh, and I always used to have a problem because of how cameras are now, they would be big in the, in the way. This is the low profile mic. Elgato arm. Yep. Um, I'm trying to see if I can disconnect it so you can see it's pretty straightforward. It's a pretty easy mic arm. Um, it is designed to hold a, a heavy pound a mic. So mm -hmm. although this isn't my, this is, I'm on um, Morant's MPM 1000. What, sorry? <laughs> We're going to debate that one because I have the same mic arm actually. 
Okay, I have the Marantz. Uh, this is the Marantz, but normally, if you know, yeah. I have um, a PR40. PR40 yeah. is a very heavy mic. Um, mm-hmm. uh, Christian, you're on. Uh, you're on. Um, sure. I yeah. forgot. Sure. Yeah. And your sure does your sure sit on that mic arm, or you find it moves? It moves. Okay. Uh, there's a trick. I don't know okay, if you know is, this. I've done uh, the, the trick. I have is is if you open up the, uh, yeah. the thing underneath okay. here. That's where I keep the Allen key. Same thing. So I hide the Allen key in there and I always tighten it up. I think it's, you know, if it's, okay. if yours is moving, then that may be the issue. So, okay, I'll check that out. Very cool. Uh, try it out. Try it out. Anyway. anyway. I know. Okay. I know. There you I know. go. I, I, so have I, have I been brought into a... Uh, <laughs> have I been brought into a, an argument here, no, Charles, no, between no, you I, and Christian? Because I'm, I'm trying to get the arm too. I know Christian has it. I'm the only one. And I think that's great because a lot of people were asking last week about getting the mic in the picture but as yeah. me and you always tell everybody if you want great sound the mic closest to your mouth as possible if, if you watch any radio stations um you will always see the mic is there and if the reality is what we're doing is people are saying but we're not radio uh, actually online you should be aiming for radio quality microphones not tv quality yeah. you should be able to get there and that is there is a big difference the sure mic that uh, christian uses uh, the hile that i normally use as i say i'm not on my hile today um is um they are that big that deeper tone um uh, the, the the easy way around it and i'm sort of in there at the moment is i'm on a mic here which is uh, a condenser mic which means it does pick up a bit of the noise around the room you're going to hear other things you're going to have some somebody else in the room with me you may hear their clicking etc cetera, etc cetera. but the best mics are actually dynamic mics and you yeah. do need them close there you Very go cool. okay uh, all right we'll see you in a so bit so we're gonna we're doing rapid fire q a now go and we got a lot of questions, by the way. Um, and we're, then we're going to do a quick giveaway. Leo, do you want to come on screen with us and answer? Yeah, let's just bring him up. I was, I was here. Okay. <laughs> You're so, just going to um, tell Charles not to take me off. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got, I'm, a quick, I'm a quick fire button guy. I'm ready. You are. Go. You are <laughs> far away. Go, go, go. Okay. So um, this one's from Big Neat TV. They want to know, will there ever be a way that stream, that stream, I assume that's the stream yard, will be able to do a workaround so you can go live on Instagram while multicasting? Um, so... <laughs> yeah, you want to take that one? Go ahead. I was going to say, there's, not two, there's, there's two things. <laughs> um, I mean, okay, there is the legality side of it, which at the moment Instagram don't allow. Right. But I'm going to say the big thing is that Instagram is portrait. And anything you do at the moment that we're doing is landscape. And pushing yeah. that to there just doesn't... There's ways around it, but it's just how Instagram have got it at the moment. Um, and yeah. that's that's my that's my view. There yeah, you and, go. The, the way you can do it right now, by the way, the, the only way, so even though there are workarounds, they're not workarounds you want to mess with because they nope. can get your account shut down. The way to do it right now would be this. I have my stream set up like this for normal. And then off to my side, I have a, a, a phone and it's hooked in, for example, could go into a mixer or things like that. And I would be streaming that way. That is the best way to make that happen right now. Um, Because you're not going to run into issues and things like that. And again, because Instagram doesn't allow it outside of what they're doing. So you have to run two two concurrent streams, basically. Okay. Um, Next question from Stephen Wicks. Can you embed a StreamYard broadcast before the start time or is embedding only for past recorded videos? So the answer to this is right now, it's only for the past recorded video. So um, we're we're working on seeing if we can get the live stream option uh, available. So if it is you know, set up for a live stream that you could embed that. But right now it is only the past broadcast. Right. Um, and, and if yeah. you have a website, like I have a website and my streams go live to my website, then I take whatever stream I'm using and I'm embedded that into my website. So if you're looking for it that way, that's an option right there. Okay, next one. Uh, this one, just, uh, I'll take this one real quick. Uh, Pastoris, mm-hmm. Albert, E, Tanya, I want to know what is dark mode? Dark mode basically is where you take the colors and you flip them based on the time of day. And so, for example, at night, people will put dark mode on because it's a little easier to see. Um, so uh, so that's kind of your dark mode uh, that people were asking for. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, Wenton wants to know, the background music's cool. Is there a way you can all could make the audio loop so, and how do you add your own pre-made music? So you can't add your pre-made music to the background music feature right now. 
if you want to, you have to use a third party tool like a Roadcaster Pro, a mixer, um, stream back, yeah. stream deck, anything like that. And then in terms of making the audio loop, there's literally a button that says loop next to the volume slider. Okay, Leo, you want to take one? Go far away. Next question. Okay. You can um, ask. Let's find one. Pick it up. Uh, all for nothing 388 says, are there differences in quality of USB hubs? Is it not wise to use all the slots that may cause issues with performance of devices plugged in? Yeah, this is a very good question. And there's a long is, detailed yes. answer. Um, <laughs> a computer typically has four buses. Um, so if you take, for example, I'm on a Mac. So actually I don't use USB hubs. I use Thunderbolt hubs or Thunderbolt docks. That's a very different product because it's using a much faster bus. So on the, on the MacBook, you have four uh, Thunderbolt ports. Yes. What ended up happening, particularly if people use USB cameras, cameras and things like Stream Deck. Stream Deck is actually a screen. Remember, it's taking up quite a lot of bandwidth. So if you plug multiple zones into there, you will actually get a shortage of your bandwidth on yeah. your bus and you are better to uh, even it out. You'll also find your machine will actually slow down and that you could actually even drain your battery. So be careful. It's amazing how just swapping things around can actually improve it. And there are some software, there are things out there which will tell you what's connected and what speed they're connected in. Yeah. And, and excellent, excellent thing. Cause yeah, you have to just make sure that like, don't just buy one of these here. Like for example, I have this, like for example, there's different job, different tools for the job. This is a, a USB hub, right? And it's got yeah. all these ports, right? Like, oh, I can plug in HDMI and USB yeah. and Ethernet and, uh, you know, and SD cards and micro SD. But the thing you have to remember is that these only have so much power they can uh, give out. And so when you put too much stuff in it or too, too many things that draw current, it will actually start taking your computer battery, even if your battery is plugged in. So you yeah. just have to kind of keep that stuff in mind. Uh, yeah. you're doing and and as as and and it's not just the power; it's the actual bandwidth that this comes yep. through. Um, a USB is only got um, twenty gig, twenty gig. I can't remember. Sorry, okay. I'm, I'm thinking thinking on the fly. Uh, and it's forty for uh, the um, Thunderbolt, so it's like twice the speed the Thunderbolt than it is there. So you can imagine what you're pushing through. All right, I got two of them right here. Yep, let's go. Um, what's the difference between deleting recording and deleting broadcast in StreamYard? Great Ooh, question. Because I, a lot of people are asking this question, and I, and I hit one by accident. So re, 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 deleting your recording is off of your system because you have so much recording space. If you look at the bottom of the recorder, when you do past recordings, you know, StreamYard gives you so much that they keep in their files. You can go back later and do whatever. When you delete the broadcast, that is deleting it off of, the network. So if you had yep. it on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and you hit delete broadcast, it's actually going to delete it on those platforms. And most times it will pop up on screen with all the platforms and you can click which ones you want to delete it from and which ones you want to keep. So be careful when you're deleting, read it carefully and just don't go all willy nilly and just keep clicking. Yep. Make sure you're reading broadcast or stream and then always look at the bottom left corner to see how much space you have. Refresh and see how much space you have. Okay, here's another one. Um, oops, we'll come back to that one. This one's I want to click. I'm new to StreamYard. How do you add videos intro into your live stream? Great question. If you go over to your left where it says um, banners and branding, so if you go into brands and there's overlays, you can just upload a video straight into overlay. And here's a great feature that I thank God that um, StreamYard added. Just like Leo, we do so much other projects for other people and we have other videos. In the back in the day, you had to click one video and wait for it to upload <laughs> and wait and wait and wait and wait. Now you can upload three, four videos at a time and it will take them and it will just slowly put them in. And here's the beauty of it. If Christian says, oh, the top one's in the wrong area, Christian can grab one and move it to another area, switch it, bring it down, switch it, put them in order. And I think, I don't know, what yeah. about you, Leo? I think when they did I that, think it's great. I think it's whole... actually got, I've used it many, many times. The yep. other thing is, is if uh, Christian can just click, if you want to know how big the uh, videos can be, if Christian clicks on the question mark to remind you or just look at it, if he goes over that, I don't think you'll, you'll be able to 
get the thing but as you can see there is there a is. limit of 200 meg um, and there's a limit in the uh, how long it can be for this size which is always the problem the 200 meg uh, there's a pro there's a uh, free software out there called handbrake mm -hmm. handbrake yep. um, and it, that will uh, you can adjust and get a video down as long as it's under 10 minutes you should be able to get most things under under the 200 meg limit with handbrake if you can't do it there is the alternative way of doing it which christian if he rolls down to the bottom which is the share um, you can then use the uh, option to share a video there and there's a video file and that does do it bear in mind when you share from a video file it is sharing from your pc which means if your pc disconnects or anything happens you will lose that connection so that's where the one in there the other thing i'll always say also when you upload a video clip is definitely run it through one time first yes. it just makes the system feel and make sure that the video is running uh, particularly one of the things that can happen is a video may be broken halfway through very rarely but it occasionally happens it is always worth giving a quick run through yeah. it sort of warms it up first so that it's uh, ready to play and me personally i don't know about you leo i like embedding it directly into the system there's no glitch oh i I, uh, you know, if I can get a video, it's only over 10 meg, uh, sorry, 10 minutes that I'll ever yeah. uh, play it locally. I just feel nervous. 10 minutes is a long time. It's a long time, um, yes. Short. I mean, well, it's, <laughs> it's short for you and me, Charles. It's about how long Christian normally talks for. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I got another question from the Artist Haven, and we're this is kind of in relation to the other one uh, yep. that we're talking about. And this question is, let me go back to us. Um, does the embed go away when you remove the recording from StreamYard or does it use the link to your initial platform like a YouTube to the YouTube, sorry, like a link to the YouTube replay? So if you delete the recording, the recording is what is stored um, on the, like it's it's like the backup of the video. If yeah. you delete the recording and you have it embedded somewhere, it or sorry, uh, if you click the option to, sorry, not, not delete the recording. Um, if you click the option to delete the broadcast and you've got it embedded somewhere, it deletes it. Yes. So... Uh, great question. So be careful when you guys are deleting what you're deleting. So if you know there's something on your on your own website and you delete it, then it's gonna the embed's gone. Okay. But here's an option too. You can, if I'm correct me, Christian, you can get more space in Streamyard. Yeah, right? you can buy. Yeah, you can always upgrade your recording storage as well. There you so. go. So if you want all your videos, you can upgrade to have more space, and that's a great option. Let's see. So. Um... Oh, here's one right here. Yeah, what's up? How do we get the mixer sound into the live stream? You want to take that one? I think all of us, um, do, something. All of us do it. Yeah, so we do it slightly color. differently. I'm gonna, I'm, yeah. I'm in it. I'm just gonna show very quickly here. Yep. Uh, this is not the greatest way of doing it, but uh, you can see there. So I'm using what's known as a Flow Eight. You can see the lights are all flashing and moving around. Mm -hmm. I actually have uh, this is my channel for my actual uh, uh, my microphone is this one here, mm -hmm. and then I've got various different other channels. There's lots and lots of mixes. It's pretty straightforward. So I've got the cable is tangled around uh, it's always good isn't it when you move a mic when you use a camera um but it, it is pretty easy uh you know stream art you just go into the cam mic cogwheel at the bottom mm -hmm. of the screen yep. and just change the mixer that come in also always i always say this literally every time we go on live with when i have people in a green room we always go into the cam mic cogwheel go into the video go into advance and make sure you're right setting if you're on wireless leave it get it up to 720 it's that's the maximum it will go to. It always tells you the maximum. It isn't saying it will go to it. It's the maximum mm -hmm. it will go to. If you are wired, go to 1080p. It does right. make a difference on there, but it's just mentioning it while we're in that in that same area. All right. So I'm doing the Go XLR Look and the that. same thing. Here's my faders for sound, and I can bring in four different channels. So it could be different things. Mute myself, sound effects. This is what you guys were asking. So if something happens and I want to, then you just say what you want to, and it's good to go. There you go. Christian, what right. are you using? And I, and I use the Roadcaster Pro, but like they all basically function the same. There you, you go. Put, you know, you put your sound pad on the device and you just change your audio source to your mixer, for example. So, okay. Uh, we've got a lot of other, let me, let me, let's, let's rock it through these questions. Here these are go. long, go. good questions. So, um, <laughs> Casador 719 says, are sound uh, any sound effects coming to StreamYard, just basic sounds for users who don't have other equipment? So 
Um, I think we actually are working on those. So that's a very good, very good question. I actually do yeah. think we're working on those. Um, let me see. There's what one else? person what that else? you can answer because I'm not an iPhone guy. So can yeah, you answer up? that one? Will there so, be a feature to share on the iPhone and any mobile? So on screen. stream, so you can use StreamYard from your mobile device or your tablet. However, screen sharing is not available, and it's uh, I think it's actually a device limitation. Uh, yeah, I think the minute the, the minute you try and do thing. anything, your camera will get turned off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if yeah. They, if they ever add, give us access to it. Yeah, sure. But like right now, um, it's just all based on what they give us, make available. Um, Another question from Tem Town. Can you get organic people on YouTube live? Uh, you can. We have a lot of people actually watching. Part of it's going to be building up your audience. So we had, what was it? Levi, I think, was on earlier. He's starting early. Yep. So the key thing is to get people to tune in. Make sure you are building a community. Don't just look at it as one-off live streams. Start to try to build a community so that then the more, so then as you are going live, I'm not saying the more times you go live, but as you are going live, people will, you know, they'll start to say, hey, you know what? I get a lot of value from that. And they want to tune in. And they wait for you to actually publish new videos. Here's here's a good one I want to ask all three of you. So let me pop this one. Tips on improving stream quality. I have a pro plan and I used Ethernet connection, but I only get 720 quality. You guys want to hit that one? Yeah, I'll, so there's, there's a couple of things really quickly. First of all is to make sure in your settings you have to set it to 1080p. Uh, it's by default, it always is 720. Then, as I said, you go into the camera yourself and set it to 1080p. But, and this is the key point, if you're on a MacBook, your MacBook camera is only, the MacBook is only able to go to 1080p. Um, you can't get 720 out of a, you can, can't get 1080p out of a MacBook. You, uh, it, they never built it in there in uh, until the latest ones. Um, I'm actually on a Brio, so that's, at the moment i'm on a brio this that'll go to 4k so it'll go out to 1080 so just be aware of that and try and test it with other things that are outside of stream world. now here's one thing that i've done i got two kids upstairs a wife in her office and they have four devices yeah you could be hardwired in but how much strength are you coming in how much bandwidth is actually coming in my kids know when i stream they shut off their tablets they shut off their video games so I can have more power coming in because everybody's using a device, even though you're hardwired in your stream and your quality is going to dip. So was that one we, your, your, your quality dip for me just then, Charles, was it also for I Christian was disease? Yeah, yeah, I, I, was I, was I thought you just demonstrated it. I think one of your kids was uh, listening to that Charles and has gone and taken all the bandwidth. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, that's what happens. They turn on something because I have a okay. meter so, when I go live on my kids. So when I go live, I shut every everything else that I'm not using, shut you it could, down. You could just see there's a big switch in his house. It's like Chris, Charles is going live and he just turns the house off. <laughs> That's exactly what I do. <laughs> okay. Next okay, question. So I got three more questions. Just being Jazzy's podcast clips and crafty ideas says, where do you buy the boards that we're using? So I'd say, um, so places we would buy them. Uh, so I would not always go to Amazon for those, by the way. I would go to the manufacturer. Yep. So for example, if it's road, go to road, uh, road.com or something like, that. just look up road R O D E. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's, um, if it's the one that Charles has, uh, it's go XLR, just look it up. And I would go to the manufacturer's website. Uh, yep. the second place I would go is B and H photo or Sweetwater. Um, and then I would maybe consider Amazon. And the reason I say that is because some manufacturers, uh, they actually don't allow their products on Amazon. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm on Behringer, uh, yeah. which is the other one and they don't, you, it's hard to get them on uh, on uh, Amazon. Um, you will find there has been like everything. Every time we talk about uh, hardware, there are chip shortages, but there are abilities to buy it in different regions depending where you are. So Sweeter Water is the U US uh, over here. We've got um, Andertons in the UK, which does it, and in Europe, uh, there's a term on of the other providers. You'll find it if you want it. They're the they're but the the one that Chris as Christian said they're the big three manufacturers of this equipment and you need to look around and it off Amazon is is best yeah yeah so mine okay. is from Elgato so there you yeah. go okay um this is a question from Abdul uh, and they want to know if the live session is done in in the Facebook live stream is it downloadable so we have to look at it like this are you streaming from Streamyard to Facebook or are you just streaming to Facebook if you're just streaming to Facebook Facebook may give you the ability to download, but usually the quality is not, uh, they usually downsample the quality. Um, but if you are a StreamYard user, 
if you go into past broadcast, for example, and I'm finished with this stream and I say, I want to download, I click the three dots and I have the ability to download the recording directly from the stream or broadcast. The other option, if I do want to go get it on Facebook, I can click view on Facebook right here and go get it there as well. So those are some of your options. Okay, let's see. Next question is. Here's one right here. Ready? Yo, what's up? Does uh, oh, yeah, multicasting a different platform delete grow your Absolutely, subscriber yeah. base to YouTube and examples? Well, let's figure that out. Me, I know I get most of my fans from Facebook, but I know there is YouTubers out there. So I do add YouTube, right? There's different ways of doing it. But if you're trying to grow a channel and grow one place, that's different. Me, I just like when I do marketing, I just like sh sending it out to different platforms. So if I'm doing a special event, a gala, I'm just pushing it out so everybody can see it because they want numbers. Yeah, I, I would I would I would add further to that that you know it's it's really hard to move people between platforms. It's not oh, your yeah. role and responsibility to move people from Facebook to YouTube. Um, so unfortunately, you have to go where where you where your audience is, and that means going multicast. The nice thing about being able to do this, if you're on a streaming or pro platform, is you can go out to at least five destinations, and that means you can go out to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter is where I normally go to, um, and you can build audiences there. And remember, with Facebook, you can also then cross post things. Out out from the video so you can actually go to multiple multiple facebook pages or groups from one post uh, out to facebook right because if you share to facebook and a friend likes it he'll share that out and he says hey charles is on he'll share that out and it could it could go like wildfire so but before we ask another question uh christian what do you like streaming on what's your what's your go-to platform you like um i'd probably say youtube leo um the quality is better on YouTube. Definitely the quality of what you end up is better on YouTube than it's Facebook because YouTube typically is 1080p when Facebook isn't. Uh, the engagement can be better on YouTube. Oh, sorry, on Facebook. Um, I do go to Twitter, but I get trolled I a lot on Twitter. <laughs> That's the only problem with it. I'm still, I'm still a Twitter guy too, so don't worry about it. All right, next question. Let's go. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm, I got to read these. Really, I've got one got here. Really I've got one here. Today, so. I've okay, got here yeah. one here. I do a live stream from my piano player's home. The piano on our PA gear is not near his router, so we're not connected through Ethernet. I bought a Wi-Fi extender will that help with the stream. Actually, I'm going to tell you this now. It's not. I'm sorry to say, because basically what you're doing is you're repeating the signal across on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi was never built for this. Actually, f funny enough, 4G is. If you think about it, 4G phone or 5G phone was actually built to, to have a two-way conversation. Wi-Fi mm -hmm. never was. So there's two options you have. The best option is to buy a cable. A 40-foot cable <laughs> is about $10. <laughs> An Ethernet yep. cable, maybe you just have to run it across the house at the time that you're doing it. The second option is uh, Ethernet over power things. They're blocks that go onto the, um, that will do, use the cable of the mains to do it. But why, why is that? I've seen it many, many times. I will sit there and have this argument with people with Wi-Fi meshes and the new stuff that say it's better. It is better, but it's never going to be as good as wired. Yeah, Hardwired and, is all the way. To, to Charles, uh, to Charles, to um, Leo's point also, when you use that extender, basically what it's doing, I think you might've said this, uh, it's taking your router signal and it's actually diluting it. So, you know, for example, it's um, like, and, and it dilutes it by, I think it's about half, right, Leo? Yeah, it is. It is. It's what it's doing is that. And also yeah. there's lots of other things we can go. We can spend a day and a half talking <laughs> about wireless. But uh, yeah, and yeah. also uh, I apologize to everybody when I said the word router instead of router. I think you know the translation. <laughs> so yeah, right. yeah. They, they got We're it. There. Like, We're there. They got it. They got it. Here's the main thing too. Oh, with it, you hear cut up like yeah. the signal and nobody wants to see and watch you for an hour like that. <laughs> I'm just sorry. It's better to just get it smooth, easy. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. And and the, the, and uh, one of the things that we do, as you know, in this show, is that we have a green room. Um, and when we're, when we're in the green room, I listen to people. I try and listen to them, listen out. I point out to them that are on. One of the guys who came in earlier, he was on uh, wireless. We moved him over, so we got a better better connection. You don't hear it yourself normally. You don't know that you're on it, so you only hear it from somebody else listening to you. Right. All right. Here's one right here. 
uh, one way to do two different YouTube channels simultaneously. For example, if my guest wants to stream to the same time as their to their channel. Okay. So the e easiest way is going to be go to streamer.com slash teams. Yep. And use streamer teams and give that person an admin role or give them a role so that they can add their channel as a destination. And then when you schedule your broadcast, you select your channel. And then let's say Charles, I select Charles's. And then that way we have two destinations we're streaming to. Right. And if you're on the pro version, like for me, um, I ask for people's admin on Facebook. So they give me their admin before the show. I entered as a destination and that's one of the destinations on top. So that's another way of doing it as well. Can you just remind people on the pro, how many channels, how many uh, destinations do they go to? I have eight. If I'm not mistaken right now. Yeah. So there's a lot of there's a lot of streaming. Yeah. You can stream to a lot yeah. of places, <laughs> and okay, you don't realize um, you don't realize how great that is. You know what I mean? So there it is. Got a couple of quick ones here. Inside Flick says, when you record on StreamYard, does it record from each of the guests' video feed or just the conversation? So it's just the audio conversation, provided you enable the audio under cam and mic settings. I think we are working on the video side though. Yeah. Um, so it's yeah. just so it's so just it audio right now. And for those, and, sorry, the, Leo, to add to Christian, remember Christian said earlier, make sure you click it if you want two separate audios. You have to enable it. If you don't enable it, and when you go to download and it asks you for audio, it will just give you audio for everybody. It won't separate the two guests. So make sure you enable it before you ask for that. Uh, this is a super useful feature. Um, it's known as ISO, isolated recording. And the reason you have it is particularly for, for podcasting because somebody's dog is barking behind something or something else. If somebody's coughing while somebody else is speaking and you can do the post edit and get rid of those things and make it a much, much smoother and cleaner uh, edit. So that's why it's there. But at the moment, there isn't a video one as, as said. All right, here's a good question for you guys. Ready? Can you stream a pre-recorded show with live chat? So can, can I kind of walk through this? There's, yep. there's, and we'll keep this super simple. There's basically three different ways you can do this. So one of those is if you're just going to do like a live stream like we're doing right now. So we would go to streamyard.com. We'd create a new uh, broadcast and we'd set up our destinations. Okay. And then at that point, that's going to push everything out. And then we'll have social co comments and things like that come in and we can bring them up like we're doing now. That's option one. Option two is straight up pre-recorded streaming, meaning I go record a video and then when I'm ready, I click create a broadcast and say use pre-recorded video. And at that point, I'm not allowed, I'm not able to bring in live comments, social comments, anything like that. I have to go engage on the social platform. So that's option two, because that basically is designed so that you're not actually there doing anything. What you're looking for is a hybrid approach. And the hybrid approach would be this. You would do your record, you make your recorded video, then come back into StreamYard, create a new live stream like you normally would. And then you actually, at the beginning of your stream, you bring in the pre recorded content, let it play. So you share it as a video file at the bottom. And then you can bring in the live comments and things like that. Right. And then to add to that, there's another question passed. Someone was asking, do I need to get their permission to put their comments on screen? I don't, I don't actually know the answer to that, but I don't think so. No. Um, it's, it's a bit of a funny one, actually, because argument of, you know, when you're putting people, somebody up, you're saying their name. Uh, but they've actually, I think the consent, in my mind, would be that they put the consent in because they actually put the question in to a go. public that's, forum. That's, um, so it's not you that's actually requesting it. But, right. That um, was my answer, too. As soon as yeah. they put a question and answer in, they're telling you, yes, I'm asking you a yeah, question. I I'm, agree. I'm agree. giving you permission because they typed it in themselves. Yeah. All right. We're rocking and rolling, people. Let's go. Great. What do we got? Who's who's coming up with a question? Here you we go. Yeah. How do you moderate eight <laughs> platforms? Uh, huh. multi have multiple people helping you backstage. Yeah. And use the start comments feature. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And so I think I think this is the, the one thing that people who watch this program will will know. The, the three of us are, do this a lot. We do yeah. a lot of Produce, production um so for us it's sort of like spinning three plates at once we can do it um but it is complicated um if you are new to this if you are doing a lot get people to help you out they don't have to be on screen um i i was doing a little, bit of the moderation before i was doing the green room before while the guys were alive you know sp spread the load the more people you can spread the load the better your show will be yeah 
make it much easier and the star comment is much easier you know like if you notice as i'm talking right now christian's looking <laughs> leo's looking and that's yeah. how we work together yeah okay? we're just looking at christian is telling us he's he's busy telling us instructions of what we got to do so we're, we're we're ready christian there you go take it away okay so um i'm gonna actually try to demo this one this is from let's go so with joe joan Banco. by the way joan thanks for the great questions today she says she's been switching cameras manually with her mouse on StreamYard. Can she use Stream Deck with StreamYard to switch from webcam to another camera for a live demo on a machine? So right now, the hotkeys don't support um, camera switching. So it supports things like being able to access comments, banners, brand, private chat, settings, um, different camera views, but it doesn't let you actually switch the camera source itself right now in StreamYard. What you can do though is, and let me open this so you can see this. Showed, I showed this new feature earlier, how you can have multiple cameras. Yep. And it, you know, it, it does mean you are going to have to click and things like that. So oh, it'll look like oh, this. Like For example, I'm going to take your question down. So let's say we went into test or test comment or sorry, test broadcast. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter the studio. I'm going to select share and I'm going to say extra camera. And now you're going to see my second camera right here and we'll add that. And now I'm going to have the key thing I want to show you is this. You have two camera feeds right here at the bottom, camera one, camera two. And so what you could do is you could have this view up, sorry for the bad framing. And then you could say, okay, I'm going to switch to something else. And, you know, you could go to like, you know, you could either add these both at the same time, for example, um, or, you know, go to a different view or something like that. So that's how I would do it right now. It is going to mean you're going to have to do some manual switching there. Uh, but that's what I would use for the time being. But don't forget, as you practice, there's ways of doing it. So as Christian would be speaking or Leo would speaking, you know, I can I can remove myself. Cool. Okay. So see, and you see, as you can see, Charles has got multiple cameras there. So, um, just kind of you know, again, just remember there's multiple camera like. You know that's the best way to do it for right now but we are building it out as well so don't forget we're always adding more yeah features. and as you can see there's also features about to do with the audio of it because that's the biggest problem you always have is you don't want to have duplicate audio so it does take in that that into account right all right here we go here we go um okay so here's a uh let's see so here's one here's one for leo ready leo how do you get people to hear your voice or audio on StreamYard? The regular steps are working. Sorry, I didn't listen. So he wants to just ask about the sound again, real quick. Um, how do you get people to hear your voice or audio on StreamYard? Uh, so it should be it should be straightforward. Um, you know, I have this all the time. Um, you've got to make sure that your microphone is working and your microphone is set up and the, the, your your path um, is is there. There is there is a ability inside a StreamYard to test. You'll see that the little meter comes up to show you that your voice is working. You know, a quick clap makes sure they're there. The other thing ways to do is test that you are actually using the microphone that you've got. You know, one of the things I do is scratch carefully, and you know, you should be able to hear that on the microphone. That tells you that you and you can watch the meters and you can see that that microphone is the microphone that you've got on there. Um, it is fairly flexible. If you are using Chrome, particularly on a MacBook uh, or a Mac, you do need to enable that the microphone is working and it, by default it isn't there. It's a bit harder on Firefox um, to sometimes choose the right mic. And last thing, if you have a guest, tell your guest to come in at least 15 minutes before so you can test their sound. There's nothing yeah. worse and the, the guest is like, you're muted. Okay, wait, they're unmuted. Oh, something's not working. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah. Can you hear me now? They're fixing something. Oh, well, let me change my wire. You're live. You want it to look yeah. nice. We we had um unfortunately we had we t today in the show we you know we use this green room which is just another streamyard win room that we go in and uh, we test people and I talk to them in there. We had one person we just couldn't get their audio working. Which if it, in the past we've had times people have joined straight to the live show. We can't get them working. It does disrupt. There isn't anything we can do. We can only fix certain things, and and it stresses everybody out. You know, to do it. Yeah. You know, as we talked before, it's not just about bringing your a, a game to the the stream. Your guests want to be. You want your guests to be comfortable and making sure their audio and their video works and they're comfortable. 
uh, and they're full of Java is also helpful. Yeah. All right. I want to put this up because oh, I'll, I'll sorry, go I took one. I took one ahead of you. Um, so we got like we got seven questions. We're gonna come to end the show here. So yep. Farmer Brad wants to know: Is there a way to map overlays to various layout views? Not at the moment. So go to streamer.com slash contact, submit that as a feature request, and um, we can see if we can work on adding some scenes. Okay, okay. I love I love this one for the newbies. Uh, stream, I had done three streams this week so far, uh, get no visitors during the live stream, but they got the views on the replay. Don't be discouraged if you go live and no one's watching. That's no. the number one thing. Do not be discouraged because the show will be great. You can put it out later and you'll get hundreds of people that watch it, but they just weren't available at that yeah. time. I'd also, mean, you don't stop. I'd also notice that uh, Rex has put his comment out, but it's come from YouTube. This is a bigger issue on YouTube than it is on Facebook. So YouTube, you have to get them to subscribe and hit the bell. If they don't hit the bell, they don't get a notification that you're going live. Yeah. Um, so they have to do it. It's a, like a second step. When on YouTube, on Facebook, typically people get notifications because they're already subscribed to your channel or they've subscribed to your page. So there is a bit of a difference. You've got to be aware of that. So and right speaking now, of that, by the way, so hold on, let me pull that comment down. So speaking of Farmer Brad as well, he had another question on the same token. He mm -hmm. says, is there a way to turn on YouTube monetization before the live stream goes live? So yes, but you have to go to YouTube to do that. You have to go to YouTube studio, click into your actual video. And then there's, there, there's a whole plethora of options. Like you can change the category, <laughs> you can enable chapter markers, you can enable monetization um, and things like that as well. And like everybody says, like Leo said, like, share subscribe click the bell so you know when we're live again in in two weeks we do it first and third of every month so if you want to catch us like it subscribe do it now click 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 there you go all hey, right Charles, take one, sorry. hey Kristen and charles what is the best way to look at my web camera during my podcast taking my guess i have trouble looking at the camera looking at down and at the same time. oh okay so He's trying to he's trying to make sure he looks good on one side, but he wants to focus on the guests without trying to look over here and then look over here at the same time, right? So yeah. we, it, it's we, it's a bit of a bit of a tough problem that I think we all suffer from. Uh, I've seen people put little stickers on their on, on above their cameras to say, "Look here, yeah. uh, put a bit of glasses." Uh, yeah. and we all do it. We all do it. Um, there, if you want to go, if you're super professional, you want to know the real way that people do it. Uh, they get teleprompters. What a teleprompter is, is an ability to put a, a, an iPad or something or a screen uh, at an angle that then reflects that you actually are looking at what is the, uh, the screen. Um, this isn't my normal setup, but I, I suffer from this problem all the time. So with me, uh, I'm going to switch my camera here. So I, I almost went and got a teleprompter. I have, I have one on the floor here, but like it, it is an option, but it, it also takes practice. That's the other thing. A lot of this is practice. So... Just kind of keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, let's see, we got just a couple more questions and then we're doing a quick giveaway. Um, so uh, this is from Casadora 719 They want to know, uh, they're sharing video from, so this is key. They're sharing video from their desktop. It keeps causing poor quality of shared video. Uh, any issues with StreamYard bandwidth? It's not actually a StreamYard bandwidth. It's a bandwidth issue on your end. So remember, if you are sharing a video, there's multiple ways. If you go to brand video clips, that uploads the video to our servers, right? It's 10 minutes or less and, and 200 megabytes or less. However, if you are sharing using share video file, that's playing directly off your hard drive. And so if your hard drive doesn't have enough space, maybe it's a slow hard drive, maybe the computer's slow, um, that's what's likely causing that issue for you. There's a couple of other things as well that happens. Uh, one of the yep. things I, I mentioned before about using Handbrake. Yep. Any video, even if I play it locally, I will push it through Handbrake. Handbrake will optimize that video and make it faster and smaller um, and clean it up. There are better uh, things. So if you try and play something like an MOV file, it's pretty heavy. Um, and your computer's got to do a lot of work. Converting it to an MP4 file, which is what the... Um, uh, the handbrake will do will optimize that video and make it in the right format also remember if you're playing something that's 4k 
and actually all you're doing is pushing out 720 your computer is doing four times the amount of work or, or actually six times the amount of work mm -hmm. for something that you don't need so that needs to be reduced there's lots and lots of reasons why uh, but reducing the video to and optimizing the video using handbrake is always always a recommendation before you actually play it okay we got a couple more questions and then we're wrapping so charles what's next all right, so I was, I'm trying to go back into the chat. We have a lot of people saying different things in the chat as well, so I'm just typing out to them. So okay, um, grab so I got another one. I got one. Um, so this one, this is uh, from Iligana. Um, they're asking. It happened a few times while they do a recording. Their sound was delayed and wasn't matching up with what they were speaking. So it either depends on the camera. So some cameras have a delay that you're going to have to account for in post. Um, other things though that can also play into that. It also could be your connection, like what kind of computer are you using? What, you know, you're not actually like, you're not pushing it to the server, like you're just doing a recording, but what kind of computer are you using? How fast is your internet? You gotta look at all those elements uh, when you're doing all of that. So for example, if your camera is not strong, if your computer's not strong enough and you, you're trying to you know, record at a higher quality, um, maybe you could try reducing the quality from 1080 to 720 and et cetera, and see how that impacts things. Real quick, okay. someone was asking, what quality do you recommend to reduce the handbrake? Actually, typically I just use handbrake on its default settings. Um, but what I do is always look at the top on the bar. It tells you what the quality of the video is coming in. The frame rate is the important thing. And I convert and I leave it at the same frame rate. Because if a frame, if a video is recorded at 25 frames a second or it's 30 frames per second, depending on where you are, converting it to the wrong to something different is actually going to make a lot of difference um it's going to not and it's going to make it not make the video that that much better it's amazing how much frame uh handbrake will just clean up an existing video even if you leave it exactly the same frame rate as it came in at and you get it to the right size um i always will say actually that i find a good quality video that you drop to 720p will still look good on an output you can go to 1080. Um, I don't think you'll notice it on a, a high quality video as much as you will. It's it, it's still good. Christian, real quick, which teleprompter would you I, recommend? I already said I just sent her a link actually to it. So perfect. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Two two more questions and then giveaway and wrapping. So um, let me take this one real quick. So Leo, I think you can actually take this one. So uh, my, Bailey wants to go. Yeah. Yeah. My daughter and I are going to be doing live. Q and A's and recorded educational vehicle videos. Both of us using the same screen, one camera. One mic setup would you recommend, or two mics? Um, this is a quite a complex problem, um, and it does make some sense. Uh, there are there's lots of different ways of doing it. If you're going to be in the same room and you're going to be actually doing things together, then uh, there are um, the 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 things that uh, we looked at earlier that. Uh, Christian showed that I showed that uh, we we showed all these different types of microphones and uh, different setups. They are designed to have multiple microphones so you can balance it. Key in this one is going to be your headphones or what you do. Now I am, as you know, I'm in the green room normally here, so I'm not. These are these headphones that I'm using, which are not the ones that I would use if I'm on a live event. That normally I'm normally on this sort of thing, so I'm listening in that way. So you need to be able to hear because otherwise you're going to get um, uh, feedback. Uh, you look at the ones there. They're they're they're, they're small in ear uh, that you can hear. That's that. I think the ones that Charles is using are great. Uh, that's what I typically use. I think Christian, you got are you got in ears as well? I do actually. Yeah, yes, I, I I had to get a new pair because the other ones broke. But these are I have clear ones. Okay, so, they're pretty good. Yeah. Both of them are pretty good. So um, that's that's the thing. Um, always as we've talked about many times, audio is better than video. Um, people can sort of live with a face like this but they actually prefer to hear me uh you know let me, can't let me add the on, face but i can uh, let me add on to that real quick before we get out of here would you suggest because there's two of them just have a boom mic hanging over you can there's a lot of different ways um uh there is also if you look at some of the polar patterns on things like the yetis the yetis actually have like a little switch which you can choose the polar pattern so it will either go in front of you or it'll try and get two people either side by side they are built for that sort of thing and you All can right. experiment with those christian last question let's go okay i've done a few giveaways using the Streamyard tool my question is is there a good way to have the winner contacted and prove they are the winner in the event someone else tries to email and say they won 
So the first thing is um, you can take a screenshot. And, and, yep. and I left this as the last question because we are going to do a giveaway now. Yep. Um, but <laughs> I would, so basically what we do, for example, what we do is we tell people, we tell the winner to email marketing at streamyard.com. And then I know if I ever need to go back and look at it, I go to YouTube and I can see who the winner is. And if yep. I have a question at that point, I will ask the person, you know, like, hey, can you send me this, that, or whatever, whatever information I need. I think that's going to be the easiest way. Um, the other thing you can also do for something like this is you could have a form. You build a form in Google Forms, like google.com slash forms. And that's where people go and they fill out, you know, like maybe they need, maybe you need their address, their email and their phone number or something. Right. And you, you know, you have them fill out a form. So you have everything collected. You don't have to worry about like everyone, you know, is going to email you. Um, this all goes into a form. So that's what I would use. Now, in terms of a giveaway, we are going to do a giveaway now. Um, by the way, Leo, can you be fair? Can you drop the StreamYard giveaway link? So people don't, you don't uh, need to do anything to, you just need to, like, they don't need to do anything to enter because I've been collecting all of your uh, comments um, throughout. But what we're going to give away is, let's give away a StreamYard mug. You don't have to put in a hashtag. I'm going to pick a winner for this, but we're going to give away a StreamYard mug. And simply, you know, you could go to, uh, so if you want this tool, this tool is available to everyone who is a StreamYard customer. Yeah, I can't remember the link. I haven't got it to hand on me. I got I'm it, not, I got it. Yeah, sorry. Well, no, not a big deal. So it's streamyard.com slash giveaway. Bookmark that link, and then we're going to pick a winner. I think I think oh. I could have worked on prices, right, don't you think? Probably, yeah. Showcasing showcasing everything. Is that how let's, they do it, Leo, with the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's give them, uh, like, 30 seconds or something like that. And we'll <laughs> and what, what are they entering? What's the, what's the hashtag they're entering? They don't, they don't have to put anything in, actually. Oh right, okay. You're just any anybody that's put any any comments in is going in this time. Yeah, and, yeah. Okay, and here's great. the thing: only one comment. You don't even have to comment multiple times. It's one comment. That's it. Okay. So um, let's do this. Let's draw the winner. Charles, you got some drum roll music. Uh, I got the winner music. So go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're gonna pick a winner. And the winner, by the way, you just have to email me marketing at streamyard.com. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go. And the winner is... So Edwin, who is watching over on Facebook, Edwin L. Calvito Reyes, uh, do me a favor, email marketing at streamyard.com. Tell me that you won a StreamYard mug and uh, give me your name, your uh, address, and I need your phone number for the shipping company so that we can get that shipped out to you. Awesome. This has been a lot of fun, by the way, hasn't it, guys? Yes, this one. Yeah, like it's it. really good. Uh, you know, and 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 it's it's great. You know, as you know, we, we we're doing this to help everybody else. The, the tools are there. We want you to ask your questions. We, if you remember, the the link for the uh, green room will be out very soon at the beginning of every show. So if you want to ask questions, save them there. If you don't want to ask questions directly in here, please join the uh, Facebook groups. Um, that we people will be there to help you all the time. There's lots of people out there. Um, and it's and it's worth worth using it because StreamYard is a great tool and it's even greater when you use it. Awesome. So I just have one. Uh, I just got a couple of quick announcements for everybody uh, just to kind of wrap things up. So um, let me see if I can find these real quick. So a uh, couple things. So tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have the town hall. That's where Gage uh, Vanentop and Dan Briggs, the co-founders of StreamYard, they do a, a quick 30 minute live stream. Um, where they go over, maybe there's a new feature or they take your, you know, they, they talk with you as a cu the customer. So that's tomorrow night. And then the next episode of, let's see. And then, sorry. And then next Saturday, if you have a YouTube channel and you want to have our team look at that, we have a YouTube channel review show every second Saturday. So be on the lookout. That'll get published out to our YouTube channel or our Facebook group. Um, and then lastly, our next show is going to be the 19th of February. So we hope you'll join us again. At, uh, you know, again, uh, live stream reviews where, you know, we take your questions and we can look at your streams and whatnot, whatever questions you have about live stream. But with that, this has been a lot of fun. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Uh, Leo, thank you so much for man manning no the problem. green room. Charles, thanks again, as always. Um, but with that, we will see you all in two weeks. Thanks Happy a lot, streaming, everybody. Happy Bye. streaming.